Peace and love, y'all. It's your brother Avis here with another episode of What's the Word Wednesday, Season 3, Episode 11. Now, as we usually do, I'm going to go ahead. You see, I put the logo up that we got for the show, as well as I'm going to be putting in the comments today's topics and pinning them so that, again, we can go over them and have this for the show. But as y'all are coming in, let me know how y'all doing, how y'all feeling, and what's the word. Shouts out to Brandon. I see you in here. Peace and one love. Thank you for coming up in here. As well as when you come in here, let me know how you doing, how you feeling, and what's the word. As well as shouts out to those who are watching this now, as well as we'll be watching this later on Instagram or YouTube. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to your boy at Avid Speaks, because again, there's going to be more content like this and others that's there on the channel. So go ahead, drop your brother a subscribe, and I appreciate you for doing so. With that, for today's show, the topics that we have... And we're going to be going through are as follows. The first thing, of course, we're going to do our news portion and talk about current events. So we're going to talk about current events. Then second, we're going to get into the topic about fortune versus fame. And then lastly, to end tonight's show topic or the ending topic for the show, we're going to talk about why do we worship celebrities? But that is going to be the whole show for tonight for this episode again. So thank y'all for coming through. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for the support. Again, this cannot be done without your help. So thank you for coming through and giving up your time, your perspectives and your words. So thank you so much. As we're letting more people come in, I'm going to play some stuff in the background. Check in, make sure I got everything else on par. So got that in there what's going on good to see you up here in here brother chino lokes 310 in the building what's the word my brother what's the word let me know how you feeling how you doing oh my goodness this is wrong but okay 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 but let's go ahead and do our thing because we want to get into this stuff. So let's get into the show song and we're going to keep it moving. But here we go. And once again, if you don't know it, you're not too sure of it. You'll learn it. And don't worry, after time, you won't hear me singing it so much over and over. But this the song goes What's the word, y'all? What's the word? What's the word, y'all? What's the word? What's the word, y'all? What's the word? Tell the like, what's the word? What's the word? What you heard? We gotta know, yeah, what's the word? Once again, it's your brother Advis and we're here with another episode of What's the Word Wednesday, Season 3, Episode 11. Thank y'all for coming through again for another episode, sharing your time, sharing your perspectives, and again, just coming through and vibe it out, whether if it's 10 seconds, a minute, however long, thank y'all for being here. With that, again, shouts out to those who are here now and those who watch this later. Please check it out. Leave your likes, comments, all of those things. Put them down there. And before we get into the news, of course, the topics we got for tonight goes as follows. First, we're going to talk about current events. We're going to get into the news portion. I got a lot of news that I'll speak on, a lot of stuff that caught my eye. Second, we're going to talk about fortune versus fame. And then lastly, we're going to talk about why do we worship celebrities? Big questions. So come through, show the love, share your perspective, and keep it moving. As well as if you want to come in and you want to share your thoughts on any of these topics, just know that, again, you waive away your rights. This is the disclaimer. And this will be on Instagram and YouTube. If you're not comfortable, then you can continue to talk within the comments. But if you are, just know that this will be out there for folks to see. 
but yes with that let's go ahead and let's get into these current events but all right and shouts out to i see you up in here shinobi peace and love peace and love good to see you up in here so I got some more stuff back at that for y'all. So let's go ahead and let's get into this. So first article I got for y'all comes from NPR. And the title reads, Moderna says its new vaccine booster shows superior response to Omicron. And I found this interesting, at least the first part of this is because I haven't heard much about the pandemic and things of that sort. And this is one of the first articles I've seen in a while speak on it. So let's see what's going on. Again, this comes from NPR and the headline reads Moderna says its new vaccine booster shows superior response to Omicron. Again, when we do this, three paragraphs and we're out. Article reads. Moderna says its new vaccine candidate, which fights both the original COVID-19 strain and the now dominant Omicron variant, shows a superior neutralizing antibody response against the coronavirus compared to its original vaccine. The bi- the bivalent vaccine meaning it targets two different antigens, is Moderna's leading candidate to have an effective booster ready for fall of 2022, the company says. Now let's switch back real quick. What it says, a yearly COVID-19 booster is possible, Moderna says. Because of the higher antibody response seen with the new vaccine candidate, Moderna predicts that people who get the booster will have protection that is more than durable over time against Omicron compared to the original Moderna vaccine. So again, I'm going to stop it right there. Y'all let me know your comments and your thoughts. But if you want to read more into this about the new vaccine that Moderna is making for it to be ready fall of this year. Article comes from NPR. Headline reads, Moderna says its new vaccine booster shows superior response to Omicron. All right. Next one. In response to some more different types of I would say diseases in this particular case or viruses. This article comes from the Washington Post. And the headline on this article reads, Small cancer drug trial sees tumors disappear in 100% of patients. So we talked about cancer and how a lot of things nowadays would be labeled carcinogens, which have the ability to cause cancer even when you go to different places different products if you look into prop 65 you'll see boom 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 or at moratorium but again washington post the headline small cancer drug trial sees tumor tumors disappear in a hundred percent of patients three paragraphs and we're out here it goes a small drug trial is having a seismic impact in the world of oncology or oncology, if I'm saying it right, or oncology. After six months of an experimental treatment, tumors vanished in all 14 patients diagnosed with early stage rectal cancer who completed the study by the time it was published. Researchers in the field of colorectal cancer are hailing the study published Sunday in the New England Journal of Medicine as a groundbreaking development that could lead to new treatments for other cancers as well. 
The patients all shared the same genetic instability in their rectal cancer and had not yet undergone treatment. Each was given nine doses of the intra um, the intravenous intravenous dose star lam I the name of it I'm not gonna even try. A relatively new drug designed to block a specific cancer cell protein that, when expressed, can cause the immune system to withdraw or withhold its cancer fighting response. So yes, y'all, there's something out here. They're doing trials with different cancer or a cancer drug in this particular case. And right now it's at 100 percent effective, especially for folks who were in the early stages of specifically rectal cancer. If y'all know, that has to do again with where where the food comes out after you're done. You know, I'm not going to say any more on that. But if you want to read more into this and see if this is a step into more treatments for other types of cancers. Again, article comes from Washington Post. Headline reads, small cancer drug trial sees tumors disappear in 100% of patients, which was 14 of them. All right. On to the next one. This article comes from Associated Press. And the headline in this article reads, Great Resignation Reaches White House with Staff Overturn. For those who don't know the Great Resignation, is it was a point in time, especially between 2020, or 2021 to about up to 2022 right now, if I'm correct, I could be wrong, where people were, again, letting... All the funds happen from either if it's unemployment or the COVID relief. It's, and they just didn't ever go back to their jobs. They also didn't go back to their jobs to also fight for better wages and for better conditions. But people would just leave and that's what it was. But let's go ahead and see what's going on with the White House Great Resignation. All right. Three paragraphs. We're out. The shots out to the brother... V doll in the building, if I'm saying that right, my G. Good to see you in here, man. You the real one. Right. Article reads, new White House press secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre was delivering her third on-camera goodbye to a departing staffer in less than 24 hours when she quipped to reporters, I promise we'll have a press shop. She added, not everyone is leaving. It's a dynamic playing out across the White House complex this month and more evidence that not even the White House is immune from what is being called the great resignation as employers struggle to fill uh, vacancies and workers jump to new jobs at record rates right now. The administration is undergoing a period of unusual high staff overturns <laughs> as President Joe Biden nears 18 months in office. Listen to this stuff, y'all. Pay attention again to what is being said. Long hours, low morale, and relatively low pay are taking a toll on both the ranks of the senior staff and the more numerous junior aides who keep the White House functioning again i'm not going to go more into this if you want to read more into this article this article comes from associated press and the headline reads great resignation reaches white house with staff overturn i'm not surprised by at least the small bit that i read here of why there's an overturn and why there's many people jumping and leaving and it's some of the reasons why a lot of us end up leaving our jobs and trying to go look for something else. Again, there's long hours, low pay, as well as the work environment is terrible, if not just the worst for any type of motivation to even want to come to work. So I can see that. I can see that happening and why that's the thing. Shouts out to the brother Zach Ryan, mate. It's good to see you in here, brother. What's the word? What's the word? Right. 
let's move to the next article because again i said we got a lot for tonight so the next one i got and this is telling off from all of the shootings that's been going on which there's been another more recent shooting that i didn't get to see where specifically i don't know if it's philadelphia but it's somewhere else but this article has to do with legislation around it so this article comes from npr and the headline reads the house passes a gun control bill in response to buffalo and the texas shootings because i don't know pronounce the other name that well so it's whatever again y'all also come for me to butcher names too so here you go and shouts out to the brother eddie of cleveland good to see you in here my g what is the word Right. Three paragraphs and we're out. Headline reads, the House passed a wide ranging gun control bill Wednesday in response to recent mass shootings in Buffalo, New York and Uvalde, Texas. Sound like I'm saying it right. That would raise the age limit for purchasing a semi-automatic rifle and prohibit the sale of ammunition magazines with a capacity of more than 15 rounds. The legislation passed by a mostly party line vote of 223 to 204. It has almost no chance of becoming, it, um, it has almost no chance of becoming law as the Senate pursues negotiations focusing on improving mental health programs, bolstering school security, Think about this stuff and enhancing background checks. But the House bill does allow Democrat Democratic lawmakers a chance to frame for voters in November where they stand on policies that polls show are widely supported. The push comes after a House committee heard wretching testimonies from recent shooting victims and family members including from 11-year-old Mia Cirillo, who covered herself with a dead classmate's blood to avoid being shot at Uvalde Elementary School. Wow, I know that was a lot to take in right there. But right now, again, if you want to read more about this article and know what's going on with this bill, article comes from NPR, so NPR.com. And the article reads, the House passes a gun control bill in response to Buffalo and Uvalde shootings. If I'm saying it right, it's Texas in Texas, if y'all want to know. But right now, again, when it comes to bills and things of this sort, they usually go through the House first. And then it's not fully registered until it's approved by the Senate. So we'll see what happens, y'all. All right. On to the next article and in this particular case what's going on dope to trill good to see you up in here what's the word next article comes from wlwt cincinnati and the headline reads ohio law ending concealed carry permit mandate goes into effect monday what to know and shots out to a shoots in the building as well too what's the word what's the word so again, I'm going to just read three paragraphs and we're going to be out. I'm almost done with this news. So thank y'all for coming through and listening. And then we'll get into the topics in a while. All right. Article reads, a measure dubbed unconstitutional, oh, uh, not unconstitutional, but constitutional carry signed into law by Republican Governor Mike DeWine goes into effect June 13th. And this is for Ohio specifically. The measure was signed into law on March 14th. The law makes a concealed weapons permit optional for anyone legally allowed to carry a gun. Officials still encourage gun owners to apply for a concealed weapons permit with their local sheriff office since those who travel outside of Ohio still need to have a valid license to carry a concealed handgun in other states that still require a permit. The new law also eliminates the need to inform an officer you are carrying a concealed handgun unless the officer asks if you are. Officers are 
recommended to routinely ask if the person is caring. Again, if you want to read more about this, the article comes from WLWT Cincinnati and the article reads, Ohio law ending concealed carry permit mandate goes into effect Monday. What to know? But yes, let's see. Say yes, sir. Ohioans keep that thing on us. Hey, you in there? The wine looks like the turtle in the movie Master of Disguise. I haven't heard that in a minute. Ah, uh, my man, shooting over here. But yeah, if you want to know that news, that's there for y'all there. All right, had hey, EBT in the building. What's good, my G? EBT the groceries. Good to see you in here, brother. What's the word? All right, we're continuing on, bro. Y'all, I should say y'all, got a few more articles for us. And then after that, we'll get into these topics, the rest of the topics for tonight. Next one, I just read the headlines to this. But for those who are still intrigued to try to figure out, okay, what's going on between Russia and Ukraine? I'm just going to read the updates and then I'll read a few of the sub headlines. I'm not going to read all of this stuff. But what's going on so far, again, with Russia and Ukraine? We have what we covered Ukrainian forces are considering pulling back to more fortified positions as the battle for the key eastern city of Severe Rodon Next. Again, y'all come to see me butcher these words too. Continues. Another one. A Ukrainian official has accused Russia forces of serious human rights violations in the occupied Kershin region, if I'm saying it right including that 600 people are being held hostage in rooms outfitted as torture chambers and pre-trial detention facilities. Controversy around food exports continues with Russia refusing to accept responsibility for the blockade of Ukrainian grain. So there's also food shortages happening as well. Then we have Ukrainian president on Volodymyr Zelensky Zinaleski, if I'm saying it right, has discussed enhanced defense support from Germany, while Norway has sent 22 self-propelled howitzers to Ukraine. But those are the at least what they've been covering here. And this is on CNN. If you all want to know, these are live updates. So a few of the, the article Again, headlines, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So the first one, it says, most of Severodon, uh, Rodonetsk, like I said, is under Russian control. Ukrainian official says. Another one, Zelensky, fate of Ukraine's Donbass is being decided in that same city as fierce battle continues. So there's a fierce battle that's continuing on, y'all. Another one, foreigners show in court video charged with being mercenaries by pro-Russian separatists. It's another one. And then the last one I'm going to share with y'all. You can you do the rest of this. If you don't see the live updates, go to CNN. U.S. Treasury bans Americans from buying Russian stocks and bonds. Because again, that's something that for especially in the U.S. for us, this is what's having that type of effect. So you can't buy any type of Russian stocks or bonds. We're keeping up that treaty to keep out Russia again. But those are the updates if y'all have any questions or any 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 articles that y'all want to share or news, put it down in the comments. As well as if y'all just have some great news that happened to you or anyone you know, put it down in the comments as well. Right. Next article I got for y'all, and it's gonna probably annoy most of y'all, but I want to see if people are paying attention. Not people are paying attention, but myself. This is me saying it to myself. Next one comes from CNN Business. And again, article reads, we talked about this before. Why gas prices are near $5 for us in the U.S., bro. It's already past five. It's freaking $6 it's about to go to seven. A gallon. And how high will they go? So again, three paragraphs and we're out. I know we can talk about this, but y'all, we got to be mindful of why it's going up again when it just had a spike down. And what's really happening with these gas resources as well as reserves? Y'all let me know. All right. Article reads. The U.S. average for 
the price of a gallon of regular gas hits four dollars and ninety six according to most recent reading with the triple a wednesday it marked the 12th straight day and the 29th time in the last 30 that gas has set a record in america we just been setting records all over the place for much of the country five dollar gas is already here exactly um there are now 16 states plus washington dc with averages of five dollars or above idaho ohio and pennsylvania became the latest states to cross that threshold the highest price state priced state remains california with a state average of six dollars and 39 cents a gallon ridiculous the statewide average rose by at least a penny in every state but florida which prices remain essentially unchanged. As of Tuesday, 29% of the nation's 130,000 gas stations were already selling gas for more than $5 a gallon. Again, if you want to read more about why this is going on with the gases or what's happening, article comes from CNN Business and headline reads, why gas prices are near $5 a gallon and how high will they go? But yes, 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 y'all. To the beach, y'all. All of that happening. I'm going to leave this for myself. All right. I'm going to read this whole article because I will say this. I am, and y'all can, y'all can get on me about this, but I am a avid person against mcdonald's period i don't go buy it don't go near it i don't want any of that type of stuff from mcdonald's so if you like mcdonald's i'm just letting y'all know now i don't mess with it you know to each his own but i'm letting you know that i'm extremely biased about mcdonald's extremely biased don't mess with it at all but this next article comes from mashed and the headline reads the disturbing reason a california mcdonald's just closed and just because it's in california does that mean that widespread things like that do happen but let's figure out why this one did it said california gonna be driving around like flintstone soon literally there's people riding their bikes honestly if i could i would literally ride my bike to work but that is an exercise exercise for me to even get to work and then try to get back I might have to start really contemplating it at this point. All right. Three paragraphs and we're out. Here we go. When you crave McDonald's, nothing else will do. Whether your taste buds are hollering for impossible to eat, tidally Big Mac, the daintier filet of fish or the refreshing vanilla chai frappe, these yearnings can only be satisfied by the authentic dishes found under the golden arches. It's hard not to let your hankering show who's boss by loading your kids into the car and making the trek to the home of Ronald McDonald and your favorite fries. When you pull up, however, you're surprised by the lack of cars in the parking lot. Oh well, finding a space has never been as easy. It's not until you put your hands on the door handles and give a firm, non-responsive yank that you spot the sign. Your McDonald's, one on uh, Academy Drive in Sanger, California, in particular it's closed for maintenance and your dinner plans are crushed oh why is this location closed it's a very funny article right now and how will you be satisfied with these nagging taste buds odds are when you find out why this mcdonald's location isn't open your hunger will no longer be a problem and if you still crave mickey d's you may want to watch what this restaurant employee employees have caught on video i'm not going to show the video doing things of that sort but i see you in here alien space queen aka chris i see you in here what's the word fam so let's see it says the food at this mcdonald's may come with a side order of mouse traps yo yo i'm not even making this up y'all y'all can look this up too 
the food at this McDonald's may come with a side order of mouse traps. I know this hasn't been the first time that you would hear this in different food establishments, but come on. Come on. I'm not going to say more. I'm just going to leave it at that. If y'all want to read more of this article and figure out why this McDonald's in particular is closed down and why. Now, it's not why. You're not going to know why I hate McDonald's, but just know. The article comes from Mashed, and the headline reads, The Disturbing Reason a California McDonald's Just Closed. Yeah. I had to do that to y'all. I had to. Yeah. Uh. I'll give a quick shout out to another article and I'll say the name and y'all can read into it. I'm not going to read it for y'all here, but another article I have, it came from NPR and the headline reads Beefalo, a bison cattle hybrid is being toted as the healthy meat of the future. So just letting y'all know there's another option of some food that's going to be coming. If y'all want to look into it again, article comes from NPR headline reads beefalo i said it right beefalo a bison cattle hybrid is being toted as the healthy meat of the future if you want to go look that up look that up i'm not gonna read it here for y'all but i'm gonna say it for myself but yeah y'all that's all i got for news if y'all have any more news reports or anything that you want to share please put it down in the comments right now other than that we are going to be moving to the next topic, but I'm going to give some time for y'all to, again, give y'all responses or if y'all have any to share. But yeah. Yup. No, that's gross. The food industry is nasty. I work in it. I'm not surprised at this point. The supply and the demand for food to get it out to people quickly and much faster than usual makes sense there's going to be some hiccups like this and happening should a patty drop on the floor pick it right back again that you don't know the sanitary conditions of places even if they do have a a rating which is by the health inspector things of that sort or b but yeah there's a lot of places that have to pass those health codes but still that's not on a day-to-day basis so i hear you i hear you but yes, 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 y'all. Let's go ahead. And if there's something that pops in, they pop in. It's all well. But let's go ahead and let's move to the next topic for tonight, which the next topic we have for tonight is fortune versus fame. We're going to see our takes on it. And before I get into letting people in, just letting you know, disclaimer, if you want to come on and be on the stream or the live with me, just know that this will be on Instagram and YouTube. So if you're not comfortable with yourself being out there, you can be in the comments and still give your perspectives from there. If not, just know that you waive your rights and it will be out there. But I would appreciate, again, if you want to come through and share your thoughts on these, please put them there or come on. And show your face, because as much as I like to do it like this and just talk to y'all, I really like to also hear from y'all. So with that, let's go ahead, jump into the next topic, which is fortune versus fame. Now, before I read these definitions, when you hear fortune, what comes to mind? And in the same response, when you hear fame, what comes to mind? Put them all down in the comments before, again, I read the definition. And yes, I see you over there, a person on YouTube that's also thinking about it. Just write it down. Just write it down. It's all good. It's only going to take five seconds. Something pop into your head. Just put it down. Some good writing exercise for you. But yeah, it said Webster. Yeah, I'm, I have Webster, but Webster got some whack definitions right now, Chris. They got some whack definitions. But let's go ahead and we're going to start off with first few ones, at least for fame. Fame, it's whack. That's what one of them saying. Some of them have it for, it's not enough, I should say. It's not detailed enough on Webster's for fame. It's not enough there. 
And we have fortune, luck, money. I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. As more coming in. So fortune. It's a noun. The first part of it we have for a noun. First definition. A very large sum of money. Boom. Second one. Riches. Wealth. The other one. A store of material possessions. Second one of this whole part. Prosperity attained partly through luck. Success. B. Luck. C. The turns and courses of luck accompanying one's progress as through life. Another one. Destiny. Fate. And then another one, which inter interesting it's obsolete. It's not a, the definition anymore. But fortune also used to mean accident or an incident. And then there's a verb for fortune, which it has. And it's obsolete as well as there's an archaic one to give good or bad fortune to or to endow with a fortune. So to give that type of fortune, you sound like DJ Khaled. We the best. I'm just playing. Yeah, we the best at this. I'm just being goofy. But yeah, so that's for fortune, which I'm cool with. The definitions is cool. Now, for fame. Y'all can put that down there as well. And good to see you in here, Kundin. What's the word? What is the word? Good to see you. For fame, we have noun. And the first one's. That says public estimation, so reputation, your fame, as well as popular acclaim, which is being renowned, which is being known. And an old one, or archaic one, which it doesn't mean to use it anymore, is for fame, it's a rumor. Interesting. As a verb, there's also a definition that's not used anymore, which it's report or repute. And another one, to make famous. So those are those definitions for fortune and fame. But yes, now, it said fame can be a form of social currency and therefore social fortune. You, you already on it. I, again, before I even jump into it, you already got... Some of the gist of where I was going to go with some of this. But again, this is all us. However, we want to go around this. That's why I pose all of these questions out. This is just not only me. This is us. We're building community. But yeah. When it comes to fortune and fame. You hear it a lot. Not only, again, on the news. In Hollywood. All around the celebrity life and music. Of whether you're wanting the fortune or you're wanting the fame or having either or both. I just wanted to talk about, see, where not only most of us fall on that line of whether wanting the fortune or the fame or the fame or the fortune. And what each have when it comes to the pros and the cons and whether or not is it worth it either way for any of that. But when it comes to fortune... And I'm thinking of fortune. Again, when I think of that word, I'm thinking more so when it comes to money and wealth and what you have gotten after put it in the work and the multiple hours to get where you are. But sometimes, again, that's not even the case. You can come across and end up again. Winning a lottery, and that's a huge fortune. It's a windfall. It's a large amount of money. But fortune is not only the money, as well as, again, the idea of luck. And I personally don't subscribe to the idea of much of luck. There's luck, there's coincidence, and literally, I'm not going to even really say... But I am saying that law of attraction, really what you put out there will come back to you in some way, shape or form. Because, again, the mind is a powerful thing. But when I think of fortune more so, I hear it a lot when it comes to just thinking about money. So for me, having 
fortune can be meaningless if you don't know how to properly use your fortune. Because again, you can be that lottery winner. You can be that person that's already given a lot, has been passed down wealth from your family and still not know how to properly use that fortune and properly share that or again, set up the next generations to be able to do so. Since we talk about generational wealth, fortune, not only in the sense of being rich, but the idea of having wealth, which is able to be passed down and continue later on into generations and generations to come. So when I think about having a fortune, I really think of it from the monetary side versus the coincidence and the the luck side, you know, like the fortune cookies, the good fortune cookies, whether you go to your closest Asian spot, whether you go in a panda, wherever it is, and you pull out the fortune, which is to me, when I see a fortune like that, it's a suggestion. And whether or not you're going to take that suggestion from the fortune is up to you, because, again, when you put suggestions into your mind, it's the conscious, and then it gets put into the unconscious where you don't think about it as much, it can be replayed so much to the point that you make it happen. You can be like, okay, well, how does that happen? How long does it take? Where do, where do I got to go to do all of that? Again, a lot of things happen in repetition. That's how we learn things when we come to our mind, our brain, as well as how we move Again, in life, literally, we have a routine. So if you want stuff like that to happen for you, you have to do it repetitiously. So, again, just not only having a fortune or having good fortune in those particular particular cases. It can happen. But again, when you're not properly prepared on how to handle it and to move about with it, to me, it becomes a misfortune because you misuse it because you don't know how to properly use it. And I'm not saying I know how to properly use things, but there be there's there're going to there's ways for you to balance it out where you can have your fun, have a good life, but at the same time set up a plan for the future as well. If that's your thing. If that's not your thing where you just want to just live in the moment, blow everything and continue to do what you need to do, fine. That's all good and well. But I'm giving you my perspective, again, for me, for seeing a fortune, not only in the sense of having that good luck, but really more so the monetary of how to use it. Now, yes, I'm going to get into some of the pros and cons of like, why would you want fortune, fame and things of that sort? But let me look at these comments because y'all are killing it right now. Y'all doing an awesome, awesome job. I appreciate it. Said you finished with the news and current events. Happy World Ocean Day. Happy world ocean day we need to treat mother nature and the world much nicer as well as the waters in the ocean because how are we going to literally be able to survive if we ain't got the water right so show some love to your nearest beach and ocean go hug it i'm just playing but literally show respects to nature thank you for sharing that yes finished indeed predestination that's why some people just want to keep increasing their followers because they want to turn it into a big branding deal with big corporations as an influencer. Hence, they do not care about quality. Ooh, and I see where you're going with that, too. You talk about the quality and the quantity of fortune and fame. Mm, especially, and I'll say this, y'all can get on me about it. You can rebut me, whatever it is. Nowadays, a lot of music as well as dating and how we just see society in a whole is very, what I like to give the analogy of microwavable foods, microwavable. Everything is so fast. Everything is just quickly made and and processed and prepared versus it's not gourmet. It's not taking its time. It hasn't been molded over. It hasn't been properly prepared and given to you to a point where you can actually use it as substance to fill you versus something just real quick. And it may not even fill you. It might even be worse for you putting garbage in. But instant, thank you. Instant ramen, instant anything versus literally taking your time with it. But that's how at least I see when it comes to 
at least the fortunate fame between the music and how society rounds relationships and things is just very quick and instant. There's no need for long term connections. There's no need for the quality of building. We just want quantity of so much stuff. I'm glad y'all are bringing this up. Glad y'all are bringing this up. Boom. It becomes a subconscious suggestion that might become a self-fulfilling prophecy, prophecy, prophecy sometimes. That's how mentalism works too. Some psychics are just mentalists and fake. Yeah, the mind is a powerful thing. So I agree. I agree wholeheartedly with this. Example. Yes, we got one minute ramen, instant ramen, all of that. I'm the top ramen when I put in these bars. I'm just, man, that's so overused. That was that was terrible. But yeah, example. I don't usually agree with Bill Maher, but he was pointing out the hypocrisy of Kyle, Kylie Kardashian uh, having nine times followers among Zoomers than Greta Thunberg or Thunberg. I don't even know really any of those folks <laughs> at all. That's how you know how I'm disconnected to from celebrities and search. I really don't be knowing who is who. Even if I watch movies, y'all, which I I rarely do watch movies. It's just me. Terrible at remembering who or what and what is happening. But yeah. That's just how it can go. It's literally that's what's The purpose now is to grow a following, is to have all of these Instagram folks, to have all of these people and supporters around you. Because again, is to your point, Kundin, that you spoke on about being profitable to show to businesses. And that's really your resume now is how many people do you have as a following on your social medias? Because then that's how many eyes can you grab towards to get people, you know, to get to come in and that's how they can market their products as well as depending on how you run your social medias and what is being said and done on there again you get all those different brandings to be able to sway a crowd of people and you may not be the run in the mill celebrities that needed to be on tv now we don't even need tv exposure to become famous that usually ends up becoming the next thing that happens after you've done it either on one of these social medias. Of course, it's still going to help to be on TV, of course. But at the same time, shoot, that's why you got your Insta Cloud. Insta Cloud. Now I'm over here mixing together. That's going to be a new one. Insta Cloud. Then we're going to say Instagram and SoundCloud. And so you got SoundCloud rappers just blowing up out of nowhere. As well as you have Instagram famous folks blowing up out of nowhere. YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, all of this happening. And again, you don't even need to have that platform of the media, but it will happen eventually for them to see with their eyes and be like, oh, we can start talking about things of this sort. But yeah, said, OK, Boomer. Hey, I'll be mixing words again. I'm telling you, words are real spells. I'll be mixing some of this stuff. But hey, that's a new one. It's the cloud. It's probably a, it's probably a. I bet you you probably look it up. It's probably a storage space where you can store all your different <laughs> ideas as well as your photos, videos. I bet you it's already up there, InstaCloud. It probably is. And if it isn't, there it is. Somebody can take it, run with it. There's an idea. Put some ads on the back of it, and boom, you got you a service up and running for people to save their cloud if they don't want to use um, iCloud or anything else. I just gave y'all game. Uh, but besides all of that, I really didn't, but let's continue going back. It says Greta travels on a boat to save energy, but the Kardashians fly on jets that increase global warming. But Zoomers keep blaming the older generation. That's the premise of Bill Mars, basically. OK, yeah. Very, very soon. You'll never forget Blue Steel. Blue Steel. I'm probably going to watch the movie again. But again, you already know Blue Steel. I'm going to leave it at that. But if y'all want, again, y'all can jump on. If not, we just keep it going as, as we're doing it right now. But let's get into these pros and cons to having a fortune. And we can speak about it, again, with the money aspect as well as, in this sense, the luck. Which, honestly, fortune also having to do with your fate. Because then you're telling a fortune as well, too. Got fortune tellers to tell you of what your fate is. But again... I still say it's a mind thing. So let's go into 
the cons. Let's just start off with the cons, which we can say the bad, the terrible, the ugly, whatever you want to say, of fortune. One of the cons to having fortune is probably going to be the same as fame. And this, again, shout outs to Biggie, a.k.a. Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G., you know, more money, more problems. And that is very true, at least from what's being seen. And when you have a lot of money, I don't know if y'all ever came and had a lot of money and you've had just people coming at you asking for what you got or saying, can I hold a dollar? Can I hold this? Can I hold that? But when you start making more money, there are more stressors and more outside things that happen to, again, having so much money, as well as when you do your taxes and stuff, there's a whole bracket that you go into, and that also can affect how much money you get back, as well as when you do do that, you literally don't get to make as much as you wanted to take away. So in the aspect of finances, having a lot of money also does you a detriment because of the fact that, again, you get that taken back on your taxes as well as people going to be putting their hands out, wanting to have something. And then, again, the psychological games that come along with that is, oh, since, man, you don't remember I was back way back when, you don't remember that, man? Oh, shoot, you changed up, man. You're not the same anymore. I thought you was better than that. Just, again, to bring it to that point of, since you got all that money, now you got people wanting to ask for it so then you can support their lifestyle with them, again, whether they don't want to increase and get better or if they just want to literally – just stay where they're at. But yes, Kunin is saying that you're unable to join. Try that one more time. But that's in the sense of, again, a fortune of the con. We've got another one here that says, you can mislead people with your influence. That is very true when you have a fortune and you have a big amount. And that's that comes, I could go into with the fame, which I'm glad you're adding that right there too. It says, got to learn how to write stuff off. That is very true. It says, here we go. Okay, the act keeps shutting down automatically every time you accept my request to live. That's been happening for the last three hours. Instagram's glitching again. What are they messing with now? We'll see what happens. Again, Chris, if you want to try, you let me know if it works for you. If you want to jump in. If not, it's all good. We're going to just keep it pressing and moving. But some more cons to a fortune besides passing it out to folks, having misguided influence, as well as having more stressors on top of that. Another con to it, again, literally not having the knowledge on how to properly use the money. That is a con. You get a lot of money, you want to run and blow it. You can call that another stressor, but that's another con is you have so much money, you don't even know where to start on how to properly manage it. Because I'll even go back to way back when, What have we learned throughout school on how to market and manage money? Not much. Maybe got a class or two. Well, if you went through math, you know how to do your calculations. So you know how to, again, count your money. But ultimately, we didn't have any type of financial literacy within schools, especially if you're in schools that didn't have a lot of funding. So if you ain't got enough of that, then how can you have any type of financial literacy, you know? That becomes the case for this of not knowing how to properly manage the fortune because then you can waste it away. You see a lot of lottery ticket winners go broke within the first maybe three years because of the fact that, again, money management as well as very new athletes, even when they first get in or the last few years that they get out of being in the NBA, NFL, or wherever that they're in, they go broke. Again, it's just having that knowledge and having that skill to know how to properly manage and use your money. And that comes along with a con to having fortune. But let's see. They say, I sense a big updates coming because the glitches are usually when they're updating. Interesting. Chris says, nothing. Got you. It says, up 80% of lottery winners lose it all in less than three years. 
thank you for the specific numbers because I didn't have it. I know it's something like that out there. Shouts out to the brother Lyrics. Lyrics talks about this so much because he knows all of this, goes into the stories of locket, lottery ticket winners and all of that. So, again, not surprised with that being another con. And one more con that comes to mind when it comes to having that fortune. We're thinking about having that success, which is interesting here, too. I'm looking at it some more. Is the, especially the ideal of ultimate failure. And what I mean by that, the idea of ultimate failure being a con with fortune is, again, you competing with yourself. So your expectations get set so high each time because other people see you as being successful. You have this huge fortune. So if you lose money and you start to fail in certain areas, if you haven't learned that failure is one of the greatest teachers, then you begin to question and you begin to doubt your particular skills when it comes to having wealth, having, having this fortune. And again, you start to literally lose yourself in all of that. So not having the ability to take losses and learn from them is another one again a lot of that does have to go back again to the mentality when having this stuff that's why it's very important for you to have a strong mentality or at least have those skills in mind before ever coming into having a big fortune we can wish it up we can dream it we can manifest it as much as we want we want to get it but if you don't have your plan or how you're going to keep it in long span on how to properly use it it will end up doing you a disservice if you get the fortune. You get all of the money and know not how to properly use it, as well as if you have not had many successful runs and things, having something that huge on your shoulders with all of that stress then comes down and ends up, again, blowing your world out of the water. It just shows you that if you're not ready, you're not prepared, ultimately it's going to do a lot more harm than it can do good. But that's why you got a circle of people. That's why you got to be prepared with it. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Forgot who's saying that is, but those, again, all the P's right there. You want to have that in your arsenal. Right. Now some pros, because we're talking about the cons to fortune. Now some pros to having a fortune. Again, you're able to have more of your time back because you have money, you have this wealth. So you have your time back. You're able to do things that regularly other folks can't do. You don't have to go to a nine to five, especially if you just given this wealth and you don't have a business or anything as such like that. You literally can wake up whenever you want, choose what activities you want to do, eat what you want to end up eating. Cause again, not saying money isn't, a huge problem for you, but you have so much of it in a particular case. We're thinking of a fortune, something huge, that you can choose to do whatever you want, whenever you want with this. What you have in the comment says, fortune equals more freedom, especially time freedom indeed. Yes. Because then you're not tied to anything else besides what you want to do. And that can be with Whatever it is, you're not tied to a job. You're not tied. If you're not in a relationship, you're not tied to another person. I mean, besides, of course, your family and other stuff. If you're connected with your family, you're not tied to having to pay off literally huge bills because with that fortune, hopefully you paid off a lot of things. So everything is mostly paid for. And you can just really sit back and chill and go do whatever you want to end up doing. But that's one of the things is that it, you can buy back more of your time when you have a huge fortune. And I'll keep going, but I have a few other ones. It's the difference between taking the bus to save money or taking an Uber to save time. It's a good analogy. I agree with it. Yeah. Now, another one for fortune, a pro of fortune. Again, 
the future. You able to create a future for the next generations, for your family, whether if it's your own kids, whether if it's kids or people in your family, you're able to have that generational wealth if you know how to properly, again, use it. And when you're able to do that, you're able to give your future generations more freedom, not find only not only financially, but time wise to really explore what they like, who they are, all their interests, and really learn life. If that's the case, hopefully it's not the opposite where again they become spoiled or you know very privileged with that because that does tend to happen if not properly taught that can happen but you're able to provide that for the next generations is another pro for the fortune as well as another pro of fortune too is again it's the mindset is then your outlook on life is completely different from those who again can experience misfortune so because you've been put in a place where some people will say that they've gotten all these blessings or they've gotten, again, all of these great things that's happening to them, they're able to use it as fuel for them to make more and more great things happen for them. And that can also another good or a pro to fortune for folks looking at people like that is you provide an example of that it can be done and how it's done and how you show and display yourself as a person with these good fortunes and things happening to you, people can pick up on that, learn those skills so that then it can help them. So you can be a, again, role model, mentor, a guide on how that can end up looking. But yes, when done right, Fortune can buy influence equals fame. Yes, we're going to be getting to that next for sure. If y'all have any for fortune, any more pros for fortune, put it down in the comments. I'm going to slow down on the fortune, the pros, and now we're going to move to the why. Why would you want to even have a fortune in general why would you want to have good things happening to you why would you want to have success why would you want to have riches and wealth in this fortune why why would you why would you want to do that again one of the first reasons why is one if that is your intention if that's what you want to do is again you want to build generational wealth and generational financial freedom for those in your family, as well as you want to be able to provide for your family and close friends as well. So that you can give them more time to explore, find their happiness, find their truths, and find what they like to end up doing. That could be one of the reasons. Again, it's the connection piece. It's wanting to give those connections. Second one, Again, it can be more for the self. Is that you want to be comfortable. You want to be able to go through life with less worries and less stress. More time. Again, you're providing yourself with more opportunities when you have fortune. So you will want it because it gives you more opportunities. Another why for wanting fortune. Besides the connections that could be made, as well as the opportunities, and in this sense, on the opposite side, less stresses if intentions are done or put where they need to be. Another one for fortune is literally for those people who want to, again, you're a leader. So you get to show off those leadership and those different skills for you. For you, Again, that's another internal type thing that can be brought out. So having a fortune to be able to be in an eye of everyone which can lead into the next one that we can talk about and we can come back in between on fortune and fame which if you want to be in the eye in front of everybody they want to see you they want to be able to get close to you whatever it may end up being then you move over to how the fortune can spill over into fame 
now we're going to get into the pros and cons and stuff of fame. If y'all have any, please put them down in the comments as we're going along and we're doing them. But before I do that, let me check back in with these comments, y'all. So let's see. For example, you can buy a billboard ad, TV ads, social media ads, etc. Look at Los Angeles mayor race between oh yeah, Karen Base and Rick Caruso, for example. Yeah, you said it right. I well, I read it right, right there. But yeah, that no, was very true. But that's really a lot of again being able, yes, you said to have the money and that funding. Because again, it not only comes from them self funding, but that also comes from private companies as well as lobbyists to also form around them to be able to do so, to have that influence, for be able to have that face. Because again, another thing that fortune does bring about you having is being able to have some type of influence and be able to get your places, your space your face in multiple different places and spaces than usual. Because again, that's why you have people running, yeah, like you said, ads on Instagram, Facebook, all other different places so that literally you're in front of a lot of people because at this point in time, how you get in front of folks is spread out everywhere. And a lot of the algorithms for these social medias in different places, they're not catered towards always specifically specifically small content creators or just people just blowing up in general off of just their regular people that follow and support them because you're locked in through a whole algorithm how algorithmic type thing i know we talked about it last time but yeah we gotta talk about these these algorithms and how things are set up when it comes to social media and all different types forms of media because, again, you only can get to a certain height when it comes to your free point or however you're going to issue that out to people because there's going to be a paywall. Because there's also competition for regular, again, mainstream news and mainstream artists and mainstream athletes, all these different folks versus regular, common, average folks. So you have to tap into that market wherever that market is. So again, and we say too, money talks because ultimately that's how our economy works. It's very driven by money and how much supply there is to the demand for that supply. Because again, a lot of that money is just circled back around to help fund the country. And when a lot of things are lacking areas of money and finances, that's where the country takes hits in certain places. And that's why we have cuts, additions, all of this stuff that happens. But most of the time, when it comes to finances, money, and all of that fortune too, again, if you're not using it right, it's not going to serve you. Regardless, I don't care. You can be the richest person in the world. If you if you spending 18 million on a shirt, <laughs> I don't know. I ain't never I don't know what is the most a person's ever spent on a shirt. If you spend 18 million on a shirt, you think about that, even though you may got the money, literally, is that a smart decision? Is that a frugal choice? Is that a yeah, I'm just going to end up saying a very strategic move to buying a $18 million shirt. So, and when there, again, when there's people around in this world that lack funding of that sort and being able to get money and resources, I'm not, and I'm not saying to get on my, like I'm getting on a pedestal on my high horse right now and saying for all those folks who have all this money and who are wealthy and all of this stuff need to be helping those in need need to be giving back to people. There's folks that do do that. I'm not ultimately saying that's the case because then that can also um, bite you in the hand too because if you just give people give people what they want, they will literally run with it and they will not change because that's part of the human behavior as well too is that when you give people things, they become comfortable in what you're receiving and there's not a clause or there is a condition to receiving either this money or something that they're getting, 
they're going to continue to do whatever they want and know that you're going to provide it to them. I got bars for that, which I say, give them what they want. They will willingly desire it. Pleasing all their needs grants nothing but entitlements. So when you do that, you can create entitled behavior that way. So all I'm saying is there is other ways for you to use that money. But if that's not the case, you want to buy it and just spend your money frivolously on whatever it is, go ahead. Do what you got to do. Ultimately, I'm not tripping off about it, but just know out where 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 is your where are you going with that? What's what's that money actually going to do for you if you're just throwing it away? You can do it, but again, just think about it. But yeah, it says yep, money buys manipulation too. Yes, it does. You can sway people through money. Why do you think there's coercion in different governments? Man, shoot. I don't know much about it, but shoot, over here in Mexico, the cartels run and they literally pay off the police force and all the government that's over there. And you still run what you're doing. That's all different types of trafficking, whether it's the sex trafficking, whether it's drug trafficking, child trafficking, unfortunately, that money and coercion to be able to just literally hush money is what it's called, too. People don't, again, don't say a word. I got you with this. And let's keep it there. That's why there's people that settle out of court so they don't have to go to court for those things. Again, it's how you use it and your attention behind using it is where that fortune will either shine or it will lead you down to a path of destruction. But yeah, I haven't even jumped into the fame because I can also do the same thing. But let's see, he said, makes no sense. Yeah, sometimes it really doesn't. Because people are just going to go ahead and continue to do whatever they want to um, want to do with that money, how they use the money, where they go about keeping it. We don't use logic all the time. Sometimes we just feel. And when we feel with certain things, that filter of logic is thrown out the window because if we put it in that filter of logic, we will know that that was an impulse and we didn't even need to buy that. That's why such things as impulse buys as well, too. So having the filter of logic or at least something to be like, yo, is this really a good decision or is this really something I want? Is this something that I need? If we don't do that again, we just buying whatever you want, then just sits around wearing your house and becomes junk. Or, you know, if you do resell it or you do end up donating it, I mean, that's also great as well, too. But sometimes it just sits in the house. I'm not going to say that I've done some impulse buying myself and had some things that are just sitting here. But some of the stuff I collected, other things, it's just I know like, yo, nah, I don't need to save this money for, for this or that. Or if you're going to get this, get this to that person. But again, it's all perspective. But let's see. Someone spends 300K on alcohol in a bar, including 90K huge champagne bottle because he wanted to compete with Jay-Z as someone who brought the most in drinks in one night. Yep, competition. I'm glad you brought that up as well, too. And that goes hand in hand, not only with the fortune, but also with the fame, is that you're in competition with other people when most of the time it's just in the competition with yourself. That's why it comes down to, I say it so many times, intention. It's really, what is your purpose of why you even trying to do that? If you're really trying to one-up somebody, are you trying to show somebody up? Are you trying to get revenge on somebody in your past life? Who, not past life, but in your past, whether that is a loved one, whether that is a partner, or I should say person you was in a relationship with, and et cetera, you're going to find out that fuel is going to run out quickly, very quickly. So really look at it again of why you're doing that. My friend Michael Ellisberg calls it having a very expensive happiness exchange rate. Because after all that, all that person got was it felt neat. I could feel much better for free at the beach. Yes. And that's, again, the mentality. However you feel about it. Retail therapy. That is a thing, for sure. It is a thing, for sure. But, again, I am for 
properly going through your finances and allocating money for that. I'm not saying that it's all terrible and bad for you to go and spend on self and to go and treat yourself once in a while. I'm not saying that that's terrible at all. I'm speaking on a point where it goes overboard and you know that you should not be spending hundred million on on a car or anything of that sort just for you to floss or to show that you have high status or to signal to people that you are a person of importance versus knowing that this money can be used to invest, be saved, stored somewhere to help whether for my family as well as to help other folks. Again, that that's just only my perspective and my perspective is not the only one and it's not the right one it's just a perspective yeah thank you for sharing that it says when i say makes no sense it's that if you're spending so much money on one shirt it's just an ego game because nobody or is that um because somebody's gonna buy a shirt that's more expensive does it make it better than the other Yes, that's what's funny, and that's true. And that's also the hype beast culture. That's the hype beast culture. It's always somebody that's got to have a shirt that's just a limited one, a one of one that nobody else has. Exclusivity, exclusivity. And having something that nobody else has and flaunting it is also another thing. Again, the competition, like that was said, stated earlier, the competition with others, one up and I got this. There's nowhere you can find this. It's the only pair. It's the only type of thing that's out in this world. So I'm the only one that has it. Look, look, look at me. Again, it's all cool and well. But sometimes you also got to be mindful of how you floss this stuff or how you show this stuff out to people because you're going to have folks, again, then who are going to get intrigued and you might end up in a situation where you might have some folks show up wherever you are, you flossing, on the ground, you're flossing on social media, you're showing that you have all of this money or you have these type of things, might run up on you and take your stuff. Again, I'm not putting it out there for y'all or for that to happen, but that is one of the many possibilities. Um, (laughs) I was going to say there was a Dave Chappelle skit where something like that did happen, but it's more so is when keeping it real goes wrong and you try to you know, keep it like you got so much stuff and that you shining and everything. And literally there's places where that stuff can go wrong. You already seen some rappers, unfortunately, have passed away because they were doing flossing of that and sorts. Folks came over, boo, ran up on them as well as a lot. I'm going back to it. Also lottery ticket winners. There was one guy in particular where that happens that literally they showed them all out on the news. In this particular case, he didn't want this to happen, but he lived in a particular area. Folks came through and unfortunately ended his life because of the money that he had. Again, ultimately, that's going back to having that huge fortune. That's where that can be. The con is literally sometimes, yes, it can be life threatening to a point where you got folks that will come up. They want to have a come up. They struggling and they see you as the come up. So you got to be careful and mindful of that. Yes. Another comment we got in his book, Ellsberg or Ellsberg, if I'm saying that right, also talks about two couples who spent the same three million in a house but with a different mindset. One couple ended up being depressed and the other became fulfilled as a result. Again, it does come down to the mindset and then the intention. You can buy you a house. I'm not, see, that, that's, to me, that's a lot more reasonable, especially where you are in on the retail market with housing and realtor market, I should say. Like, that's literally millions. Well, I wouldn't be surprised somebody pay, again, 10, 20, 30 million for a particular house and a whole stretch out of land. It's again, how you're going to use that. If you just brought it to again, to just show people that you got this, then yes, that emptiness can come inside. But if you got this with a plan and a future in mind of how you'll set this up or how you will use it, then there it is straight up. It's right there for you. And there's nothing, I'm not gonna say there's nothing wrong. You shouldn't feel that particular way. You feel how you want to feel. I can't stop you from feeling how you want to feel. But again, it just gives you that perspective how people with money, whether it's a couples, 
whether if it's you or somebody else, everybody's going to have a different experience with it because they're going to have different intentions on how they want to use it. But yes, let me continue down here again. Yeah, lottery ticket winner just killed his wife. Oh, I didn't even look into that. There's some news right there, bro. It happens every, every day. Yo, what's going on, Chris? What's the word? The word is wings. It's of course. Wednesday. Of course, no. That's yeah. always your word. Of course. <laughs> but how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Are we only on cons right now? I stepped away for a second. We've been we've been on a multitude of stuff with this. I'm just glad that again. I was just hearing a lot of uh, cons to spending said fortune, like if it's yours, and a lot of the mindset of like comparison culture yes like i put Let's go with that. therapy in because going on, i am i'm yeah, a firm yeah. believer in treating yourself mm. and i know that can be like a double-edged sword sometimes but i mean if you worked hard or if you did get let's say the luck i know you don't want to focus on the the coincidence or the luck factor <laughs> but if it comes into your possession you know yeah. it is yours and you are able to do what you want with it. Oh yeah. And it doesn't always have to come down to um, I'm getting this to compete or to flash, but maybe because I want this for me, you know. Yeah. It's I did spoke on that. Yeah, I spoke. Yeah. I spoke on that. I spoke on that earlier. Um, I don't know if you missed it, but I was saying oh, that I like there's that nothing. Part. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with again spending for for yourself and you know wanting to treat yourself. Like there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, like I said, when it gets to the other side, the extreme. Because, again, most folks, when they get money, some people, when they get a large a, amount of money, they haven't been given the skills on how to properly use that. So some of them are going to go out trying to floss, go get a car, maybe try to go get a house for their mom, their dad, whoever it is, without taking yeah. in mind to think about, okay, there's a way I can go about doing this and still, again, be fulfilled that I was able to get this money versus just blow it. And I'm not saying that's going to be everybody. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, I already I agree with you, Chris. Like again, when you were saying retail yes. therapy, that happens. <laughs> Folks use that. That happens every Friday. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> 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 um, no, but yeah, this is a this is a very interesting. And you have people because it started. You know, shop for dress and stuff like that. But I mean, if you got the money to do it i mean is it like excessive shopping like all right i need to look flyer than the other people like does it bring into a certain point like yeah. hey you yeah. know what i gotta be better than this person because i got this amount of money so i gotta look this part you know just to like make it known that i got this amount of money you understand what i'm saying like you know because there's certain people that have millions and like you know they wear like just normal clothes and you wouldn't even know yeah, that right. they have this amount exactly. of money you know but then it's like, especially in our culture, you know how it is. It's like, you know, we got to like, we, we want to look the part, but it's like, it's not even looking for other people. It's just like, oh, like I got this amount of money. Like, let me mm -hmm. buy this nice car. Mm -hmm. Like, let me buy these nice clothes just to let niggas know, like, hey, I got this money. Like, you know, yes. and it goes like backwards because you got the same people that's still trying to, like your own people is trying to do whatever or, you know, whatever. That's like, very true. I get and, 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 thank on you. the hung up part of like for other people. I don't know. Maybe that's just the ego. Where, where I am is like a complete detachment from. Yeah, what do you? Because like, if you didn't give me this money, then what does anything I'm doing with it have to, have to do with you? Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. That. like, yeah. What does it have to do with like other people? Like, I got yeah, you. That's, <laughs> a, that's the thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do with money, though. Like, you know, like money is here, and like what you want to do with your money is what you want to do with your money. But it's about how like other people see you. You know what I mean? Like, you can yeah. have like you can have the flyest clothes on and not a dollar in your in your in your pocket at all. And yes. just look at how you look, people would be like, oh, like, they got it's it. It's called thrifting. You know? yeah. <laughs> you could, yes, you weird. can. Yes. It's look, weird. And Chris, and Chris, I, I, I like your point, and that's where, that's where, again, some people don't like to speak in general or generalities, mm -hmm. but that's mm -hmm. where I mostly do, because, again, I'm thinking of 
average folks because again not mm. having the skills and not having the time i don't like to always speak like specifically to like my own experience if it's needed because again mm. for me i know how i would end up using the money and how i would go about sharing or investing or if i'm going to get something for myself which i am upgrading some stuff in my room there is a there is a calculated way i'll go about it but the reason why and this is one of the reasons and again i can be wrong Whatever it is, I'm not the end all be all and stuff. But one of the reasons why people do floss like that, or they literally want people to see them outside of themselves having a lot of money, is because they're also trying to create a connection and they're trying to also buy into how society sees stuff. So they see people flossing, and that's where we'll get later on into the whole celebrity stuff. Because again, this is all tied together, y'all. Yeah, but this yeah. is, this is, go ahead, Chris. I feel like, um, just like flossing remember like um circa early 2000s right that was like the whole thing like Mike Jones sudden flossing mm. all that stuff you know yeah big t-shirts air force yeah. one <laughs> I, I feel like I I personally just feel like that has been um that kind of culture has been slowly um decreasing Mm. And you have this new wave of, I do understand, like, influencing and stuff like that. Now, I don't look at that as um, flossing, per se. I look at it as um, people trying to escape um, this, like, nine-to-five kind of, like, lifestyle. And it's more like a, it's more mm. like, yeah, it's more of, like, that kind of pursuit. But it can, okay. I do see how it can be interpreted as like flossing and putting it in people's face but like the actual goal is for like more like self-preservation more so mm. to like show off like this yeah. company is gonna pay me to just give a review on their product it's not so much like mm. oh i have this product and it's like literally it's the new type of job if you will <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Dopey, dopey got something on that. I hear that. Yeah, I hear. I hear what you're saying on that. So basically, they like present themselves for these companies, like you know, they yeah. trying to make themselves known, trying to build their own portfolio, um, portfolio mm -hmm. on these mm -hmm. things, like you know, if they rocking Gucci, you know, Cartiers, right. whatever, mm -hmm. like any other newest stuff. You know, what I'm saying Instagram is a, a mad platform on everything. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, if you got it like that, like, you know, especially if your pictures is like looking, you know, how they how they want it. I don't know. Like, it's that's the thing with the celebrities and everything. Like, if it's looking like they can make money off it, is that what you're trying to say? I'm trying to say so um, before it used to be pointed. Right. So I am intentionally trying to show off and start. Now it's more like I'm going to put this out here because this is my let's say quote unquote job and that okay. in that leaves space for people to project mm. and to feel some type of way but that's not that person's intent it's wherever you fill in emotionally like yeah. when you look at it I can see that I can see that yeah I understand yeah Chris I can see that and Again, that's where you hit it on the point of that's why I keep saying the word intention, because that's literally mm -hmm. it. It's based mm -hmm. on that person's intention. But I will tell you this, that they're still down there in that surface level, even if they don't, they're not trying to do it, it's going to happen where they're still going to show their accomplishments. That's just another well, yeah. way of showing how to floss as well, too. It don't have to be with the money, because, again, fortune is not only just the riches and the wealth. It's also your success. And how you mm -hmm. show that as well too. So there's well, still going to be certain just amounts. Going to happen. The fact that we have this, what do you say, instant ramen type of platform, is yeah. that just like a product of the social media day and age? It's, it's still again, not it's inevitable. On that person, yeah, yeah, but it's see, still in, I, it's still inevitable. I flossing, I think it's pointed. Like it is. Um, not necessarily malicious, but it is to get a rise out of people. Whereas if you're just using something that everybody's just casually posting on, and if you are just, you know, out there killing it in yeah. life, you know, you should be able to share just like someone who's not killing it and just posting 
pictures of their lunch, you know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's good. I, and that's where I think just the difference is it's because the, it leaves space for people to project. Oh yeah. Yeah. Again, Chris, that's why I guess why I'm glad you're sharing your perspective of what you're seeing. Cause that isn't, that's just, that's not just mm-hmm. the only thing again. He said, what's flossing? Only flossing my teeth. Yes. Flossing oh, is three, like flossing has three different meanings. Stunned. Flossing has three different meanings. I got you. Flossing for mm-hmm. your teeth. There's also a dance <laughs> called the floss, the floss as well as too. flossing means again to show off all the money, the success and things that you have very blatantly. Like, like it's just yeah. out there. You're bragging with all of bragging. the money and stuff that you got. So that's another word for flossing. It's like I stay. Yeah, I was about to start singing Mike Jones song. It's, start, Jones, it's called flossing. flossing. Yeah, <laughs> he's like I stay flossing right, in Let that candy paint. Let me hit you with I'm starting like my daddy. Son, oh like yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. If it look at G Unit has a song, G Unit has a song called "Stunt Stunt One Hundred and One." Like yes. that, Liddy, I teach you how to stunt. Oh, stunt's yeah. another or word. Get like me. Stunting is a habit. Habit. Like, like yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> all of that stuff it says, "Oh, it's like uh, flaunting." Yes, 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 exactly. It is. Yes. It is like flaunting. You're flaunting mm-hmm. your accomplishments and the money and everything, your success that you have. Mm-hmm. But yes, ultimately, again, it's not a bad thing. It's just how you go about doing it. I'm not going to say, oh, there is a humble way and it's the right way that you're supposed to show Mm -hmm. it. No, it's whatever ends up, again, works for you. But you will notice when you do get money, and this is another thing, when you get money, your behaviors don't actually change. They actually start to intensify who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. So if you started off as a person who was, quote, unquote, humble, Again, it can it can happen, but those will help you end up increasing that even more versus somebody who started off again not having nothing at all and they literally was very very malicious or just very just bad with how they spent the money or how they treated people. Mm. That's going to become more and more like they say this: you can't take the hood out or take that hood out of a person, or if you're in the mm. hood specifically, even if you get mm. a lot of money, that's always going to have that that mentality. Shots out again. To Ice Cube, the hood mentality in this particular case. It don't matter wherever you go with that mentality. It don't matter if you over you here got Elon Musk money or any of that stuff. If you have that mentality, you're still going to use that money the ways if you were still on the block or you was in your house, the roaches, all of that stuff. Again, yes, I'm speaking from a rags to riches type of thing, but it can also go vice versa of you also having a silver spoon or money passed down to you. If you already have those type of behaviors of being prim proper and as well as just being very uppity about what you do it's just going to make that even worse at least that's just from what i've seen and yes there are outliers in cases where it's the opposite but we're talking about most of the time i'm not all yeah yeah did you hear what 21 savage was talking about i, it was, I just seen it on uh it had popped up but he was talking about how like people come from the hood and like how they get this money and like they try to you know expect like oh yeah i'm trying to get out the hood but then mm-hmm. they end up going back into the hood because they're like oh like i want to put my hood on this shit you know yeah and, oh i'm gonna put everybody on but then at the end like at the end of the day you still got other enemies or whatever that's come from or it's like a whole circle into that that's just like it i don't know it just don't make no sense that, you like, can't save everybody you can't, yeah you can't really Mm-mm. get out of that like you know situations like that's why i was saying like it goes fast like you blow up pretty fast you know and if you blow up pretty fast like you can only take a certain amount of people and then like everybody else you don't know if people are gonna hate on you or you know people are gonna look at you and be like hey you know what like we got your back or whatever but then you know let some them people hate. are like let them hate yeah you know <laughs> again that's why that's why i was saying a a, a con to having fortune and we haven't even got Mm -hmm. into fame yet which i want to talk about Mm -hmm. fame a con to having fortune and biggie said it again said more money more problems problems. you create more Mm -hmm. enemies you create more obstacles that happen so then now you have to be more worried or weary Mm -hmm. and you have to watch out and be aware of like okay then now who do i have in my circle now like who's around me that's why you do and i i understand why rappers and those who end up making it be successful they leave out of the hood is because again you have that mentality of when oh you got it now i know where you live i know where you stay Mm -hmm. so when i get there now i can get it too versus i'll come out i'll try to provide you with a way to get this on your own but 
I'm going to give you some conditions. Because if I don't, again, I said it earlier because I was being selfish to myself, bars that I wrote. Give them what they need. They will willingly desire it. Pleasing all their needs grants nothing but entitlements. So you're going to keep giving this to people. So then they're going to feel that they're entitled to your money, your time, and who you are. And if you don't, they will gaslight you into saying, oh, you changed up. You're not the same. You're a different person when that's not the case. So I understand that whole setup of leaving out of the hood for that to happen. Because then you see stories like Nipsey. You see stories, Young Dolph, whole group of other folks where they're trying to, again, yeah. go in to make some right. And then, again, end up getting gunned down, unfortunately. But see, that, that's what one of your words. Crazy. Oh, sorry. That's just, that's about it. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna use one of uh, your your words you don't like. Let them believe what they need to. <laughs> That's fine. At the end of the day, let That's them fine. believe what they need to believe. Again, and that's why that's why you also that's why you have to be mindful of how you also present yourself. Because if that's mm -hmm. the way you thinking too, you bring mm -hmm. that upon yourself as well. You do. I mean, I, I know I keep using rappers as examples because, I mean, I'm a hip-hop head, but there's more examples of other people that's out there, too. I think, like, um, there's a guy who, who had made Norton the antivirus for um, the PC mm -hmm. and stuff. He always mm -hmm. talked about people out to get him. And then, unfortunately, at the end of the day, something happened, and he ended up passing away. You have Tupac also saying the thing, same thing. It is going to kill me. And you have Biggie having his album ready to die. You set yourself up in those situations where it's like, oh, I think somebody's trying to take my money. I think somebody's trying to come out. Focus. And then it's going to end up. And you bring that energy. People pick up on yeah. energies as much as some people don't know. You can you get that feeling. Like the Black Eyed Peas say, I got that feeling. You know, you get that <laughs> feeling from people where they're like, okay, he's not that confident. Aggressive. He's not that confident. Or she's not that confident. Oh, they seem like they're trying to watch out for something. What they're really trying to watch out for. All right, let me go check. As well as, if you're walking around in places you don't know where you're at, people will mm -hmm. see you as a come up. And what I mean by come up for those coming in is that they'll be able to take advantage of you regardless because this is the way that you walk and present yourself. So I feel you on that. They can believe what they want, but at the same time, if you show people from your impressions of how you act, then that's what's going to happen, too, because you that's keep you thinking it. Solid. You got to stay solid. You got to stay solid as a rock? As a rock. That, you know, rock. that tough. That yes. tough energy every day. All right. I know we talked about fortune, and we can, we can go back and forth in between, but now I want to get y'all's thoughts on fame. I want to talk about some of the pros and cons of having fame, because that's the opposite side in between. I ain't going to say opposite side. is all together with having fortune. So what is y'all thoughts on fame, some pros and cons? Hmm. I mean, what you what you think come with it? What you think with come with it? A lot of eyes. Like, like same thing you're just like, saying. You, a lot your of whole, eyes. Your whole life you can't do nothing. I mean everybody watches the Kardashians, I'm pretty sure. You know, everybody done seen how their life is. Dang, yeah. just up until last year I would have been like, no. But I live with someone who likes to watch you know, that show. <laughs> that's just, I now know. It is, though. Like, I mean, even with, like, paparazzi, you know what I'm saying? Like, you yes. know, you got paparazzi that comes up, and then they can, they, they can put anything on your name, and then it won't even be true, you know? Yeah. And then yeah. you got and then you got different people, like the people that you have around you, especially that you're famous, you know what I'm saying? They can try to get you on something, like, you don't know, you know, you just don't know. Just because yeah. you have that name, like your name turns into a whole different thing. Like it's yes. not even you anymore. It's just, <laughs> you're a brand. Right. I was gonna use that word. I was gonna say now nowadays, um, you can use fame interchangeably with um with branding or relevance. How yes. relevant are mm -hmm. you is yes. now the new fame. You uh you watch the boondocks? A lot of boondocks. Boondocks, yeah, you know. What's good? Like, uh, what was his name? Uh, Pretty Boy Flash or something? Like, it was like Pretty Boy Sun, Pretty Boy Swag or something like that. Oh, that's the later season. Wait, you talking, about on, you talking about on the boondocks? Yeah, yeah that was the later season. Was like pretty, pretty yeah, it was. Swag. Oh, it was supposed to be, wasn't it supposed to be um Chris Brown, supposedly? Chris Brown and yeah. talking about 
motherfucker. And he's like, I just got to stay relevant. Like, that's all yeah. it is, my like, dog. Like, that's I what can't. TikTok is. That's what Instagram yeah, is. Yeah, like, I just make music for women, you know? Like, I'm just trying to stay relevant. And that's it. And that's one way to you stay just, relevant. That's the market. You know? <laughs> it's just happens like that, you know? Like, but, I mean... As you looking at it, like being in music, like you know, that's just how it goes. Everybody's trying to make their money in it, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. at the end of the day, like when you're that famous, like you see it, and it's just like you can know, like, all right, damn, like, is this true? Like, if this is really happening. And next thing you know, like, it could pop out and be like, it wasn't true. You know? Yeah, because it doesn't yeah. have to necessarily <laughs> like, be in line with the truth as long as it's relevant, as long as it's on the timelines, as long as it's being talked about shared posted like that's the yeah. new fame yeah. this is how relevant clout. are you internet you that's the other word, clout. Yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> how much clout you got mm-hmm. so, go ahead go ahead dope no go ahead oh no i was good i was just saying this clout you're good oh yeah i was <laughs> just saying that internet just moved fast you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. so or well, okay. I wouldn't even say internet because we've had we act like we didn't have internet. We had internet. Like, well, we had internet, but I Chris, mean, so Chris, come on, but now. Like, come, on now. Like, come on now, come on now, hold on, 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 hold on. I'm gonna keep saying I'm hold on and hold on and hold on. Hold All right, you said we had internet and you said it's going fast. Look at the comparison to oh, okay. dial up to I'm where we're at now. We got five G. I'm just saying, it's like everybody is now. Oh, like it's uh, it's because it's like in our pocket and it's like everywhere with us now. Before we had, we did have to be stationary with yeah. it a little bit more so. And if you know, you know, because I was in that early realm of like exploring the internet before social apps. But it's because it's with us and it's again relevant now yeah um people's like oh my god the internet is such a dark and scary place it's always been that way though it's not it's really a, yeah. i don't see a, i don't really see a big difference other than it is now on hand and it's like since it's on hand you have more access to it um at any at any moment in time that is the like, big but difference. it but it's the same but it's like the same all of this was happening before, but if you didn't know, you didn't know, because if you weren't on your computer, you didn't know. That is the yeah. big difference. You answered your own question within, I'm not, not answered your own question, but you already gave another answer within you giving yeah. that example. Yeah, double speak, but, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't know, everybody's like acting all shocked, and I just, I, I don't know, I've always remembered it being like this. <laughs> Again, that's why it's the it's the general versus the specific because we can mm-hmm. get into say into those specifics and for you it's different for another person. That's why again, not only the reason why I had these shows so you can hear everybody yeah. in different perspectives so you can see where people are coming from, but ultimately, again, society's going to show you what majority of folks are thinking and doing, you know, to a certain extent, so you can at least have a baseline. But yeah, on some more of this fame stuff before we get to start talking about why we worship celebrities, you know? Um, mm-hmm. But I would say uh, another con to the fame, and it's very similar to what y'all were talking about in in relation, honestly, to Johnny Depp in this particular mm-hmm. case, since that was a case mm-hmm. that's being all highlighted right now with celebrities' <laughs> wise, mm-hmm. is that reputation, as high as it can end up going, Depending on where you at to, it can drop as low as it needs to. And that's another con of that. It's just such a very volatile thing. It can switch at any moment. And especially, mm-hmm. I'm going to say, there is a gender difference. We know there is a gender difference. As much as we don't want to say that it is, you see it happening throughout, again, Hollywood and in the space of the stars and celebrities, that there is that difference. So when somebody comes and speaks out and says something, boom, their credibility shot like that the opportunities for other things closes with the quickness because people don't want to be branded around that person again it's a we come back to also talking about that's why money talks and when again you have people that's going to be heading your brand or be a part of that brand or collaborating 
you're guilty by association, even if you didn't even go about being a part of that. If you know homie or homegirl was a um, serial killer or they ended up doing something they shouldn't have been doing, they got so many records and stuff, and <laughs> you already was seen being under and helping them in that particular case, they're going to know your brand being as well of that, and you wasn't even a part of that. Guilty by association. So sometimes, most of, not going to say most of the time, but I have a song on this too. It's called Popper. It's called um, Flashing Lights, and it's talking about fame and stuff too. But most of the time, that's what's going to happen. It's very volatile how fame goes. That's why you see people get blacklisted. You see people literally fall out of the graces. You only see the 15 minutes of fame for some people because that's that's sometimes so that's how volatile, how quick it is. Honestly, I'm not going to even say yeah. 15 minutes of fame anymore. It seems more like five to like two right. minutes mm -hmm. of fame because then people disappear so quick. That's why we have one hit wonders. There's a lot of sayings for a lot of this stuff that backs up, again, what we're seeing and what happens. But another con I would say, again, is how volatile you can rise all the way from the top to fall all the way to the bottom real quick for fame. Mm. Mm. That instant ramen. It happens that way. What's going on? I'm, I'm going to say, just call you ugly, ugly little Uber driver. Uber <laughs> driver. Yeah. I see you in here. Much love. Matt G Tattoo, oh, yeah. I see oh, you in here. G. Much love. <laughs> yeah. Um. Any more cons y'all got? And then we're going to talk about some pros, and then we'll move into this um celebrity worship. Let's just move into the pros. All right. What you got? What y'all got? For some pros to fame. I have one that's kind of like down the, the middle. It can okay. and it, it goes back to what we talked about at the very beginning, which is <laughs> which is influence. Mm -hmm. And that is like that is kind of like the double edged sword because it can be good, it can be used for good. You can get like yes. messages out, you can get attention to things that need attention that's not getting attention, or you yes. can just use it for your own personal games you know so yes that's that's one <laughs> i like it i like it i was gonna i was gonna just echo and say that same thing that's where awareness can come into play for people who don't know stuff especially mm -hmm. for people who are very into again celebrities and living by what celebrities say and do when a celebrity right. brings up a worthy cause and yes to say worthy aware. what can be worthy now you're aware of what's really happening with certain stuff like this yeah some people say man if we have more celebrities speaking about you know child trafficking and all the um food resources um losing all this other stuff there'll be some more people informed and stuff there to a certain extent yes but then at the yeah. same time that's where we also and that's how i to get into the celebrity worship stuff but that's where we have to separate ourselves and the the celebrity from the person because when we start to idolize yeah. people, we start to put them on such high pedestals and expectations, expectations and things that they should be doing when they're also just normal people, too. It's, exactly. it's just now they got a little bit more clout and fame and more money than right. other folks do. They're on we that then spectrum. Give them, we give them this uh, different responsibilities that aren't their responsibilities. Yeah. For your kids to do whatever this is that, like little Nas X few other folks they're just putting stuff out there and it's like well that's on your responsibility to not have your kids seen and stuff but it'd be like but um it's hard because my kids you know either if they go to school and they don't no. know about some of this stuff they can the kids get bullied as well as anything. they don't know um what could be happening what's going on around them if they don't know these things again that's Again, that's where you got to learn to go about how you going to structure your household and your family exactly. and all this other different stuff. That goes into, yeah, like you said, that's parenting. A reflection of but, them. Yeah. but back to the fame. Um, another pro for having fame as well, too, is also, again, you have more opportunities to do stuff that you've never gotten to do. I know I've said it prior to yeah. before with fortune, but, I mean, when you have a certain amount of fame, who knows? Again, I'll say this. Um, shoot, Dennis Rodman, when he was a basketball player, you see him going out to North Korea and multiple times talking with the North Korea president. Like, not normal <laughs> people are going to be able to just go up into the, over there and just meet the North Korean president or presidents around the world. But when you have some type of status, power, and that fame, you're able to do things, again, that regular people can't do. And if you're going to flaunt it, is your intent, or if you're just going to go about just, again, being able to share experiences for yourself, 
You got that. Boom. You have multiple opportunities for so much to do. You can end up doing what? What's his name? Um, not Elon Musk, but Jeff Bezos. This this dude going into freaking what outer space to go jump and do all that stuff to ride and then come right back down and flown about. I oh, just went into outer space like, bruh. For 10 million. Yeah. Well, how much million? Yeah, it was like 10 million or something. It's some, it, was, it was somewhere around there. Again, I don't keep up Some with days. a lot of this stuff. I just hear. But like, again, Things of that sort. You have opportunities that on on a regular you're not be able to do. Sometimes for me, just yeah. going either to the movies, to the park, or literally going to a nice meal is cool thing. Shoot, another level for some people be like, let's go jet skiing in Dubai or like some whole yeah. other different place. And it's like mm -hmm. I don't have mm -hmm. opportunities to do stuff like that. With fame, there's another opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Privilege. Yep. Yeah. Dope. You got anything for a pro? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, being famous, you know, you uh, you get a more, you get a lot of more uh, less slack on stuff, like you know, what I'm saying. I mean, well, you get off, you get away with stuff like a little mm. bit more than like the normal person, you know. what I mean, like, yeah, because you're famous, you know, people will be so starstruck, even police. Yeah. But oh. You know, <laughs> from certain things, like you know, what I mean, even if you, you stop it. You might get you might get stopped by a police just because you want to take a picture, you know. You know, it's like certain things, and you look at it like that. Like you go to like so many festivals or whatever, and it's like different. But like if you're an artist, it's like I mean, you you still got artists that get harassed by certain security or whatever. Yeah. And like, but then they make a mistake though, and then that person ends up getting fired because they didn't know who that person was. Mm. And like, you know, certain things. Like when you walk into a spot, like everybody know who you are. Like you don't gotta pay for certain things. Like yeah. it's just it, you know those those are the pros of that. Like you know, if you're being famous, like people just know who you are everywhere you go, and like yeah. you don't know, but you know you get more specialties, more royalties than things that a normal Common. person. You know, you go to a coffee shop, you might not get the same kind of respect if you know like little Uzi Bird walking there, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so yeah like, you get different treatment. Oh, oh, like hey, yo, with free coffee on us right here. <laughs> yeah. At what coffee shop? Uh, sorry, I, I don't I know. I don't know. Sorry, she I it's examples. Know. It's examples. She likes context. <laughs> you like context. <laughs> like who? Or who was taking the order? I'm not, I'm not like. Yeah, I'm not going straight in. Like yeah, let's go to this coffee shop. I'm just throwing it out there. You feel me? Like you know, it's just an example. Like you go somewhere, like they pull up to a drive thru Of course, somebody gonna be at the drive thru Like whoa, like, I didn't expect to see the person today. Like wait a minute. <laughs> And I'm glad those this are great examples. Thank you for saying that, though, because I will say this. This was a funny instance for me is whether if it was a shot as if somebody was clowning me. But then at the same time, I was thinking in my head, like, really? I pulled up a long time ago to a jack in the box. And this is like late at night. I'm getting back either from a show or just something in particular. And I pull up to a jack in the box and the dude that's there taking the order or like about to give him the money. He looked at me. He was like, wait. Are you LeVar Burton? You LeVar Burton. <laughs> and if people don't know who LeVar Burton is, just look up Reading Rainbow and you'll see. The, you say the black dude from Reading Rainbow. <laughs> I know. But then they was just like, yo, hey, man, shoot. Like, what you want? And you're like, oh, you got it? It's like, I got you. You want this? I got you. And I'm like, Bro, so you I, did you not, I'm yes? not even LeVar Burton. No, of course I'm going to be straight up. I'm not going to just be like, yo, <laughs> yeah, I'm LeVar Burton. Like, yeah. And in my head, I'm like, what is LeVar Burton doing at a Jack in a Box at like <laughs> one in the morning That's or two right. in the morning? Like, and no. And he be like really old now? I guess I look, I don't, again, I don't know what, the, again, if, I don't know if that was a shot or anything in particular, but the dude literally was just really like, yo, you're LeVar Burton, and I'm just like, you put what? him in a time I'm like, machine. I'm like, no. <laughs> we get extra fries then, all right. <laughs> you know? But that's just, again, that's on the funny side. This is, this is, a, this is a, funny, the funny side of things, but yes, you know, fame can actually give you those different privileges that a lot of other people don't have, and yeah. Again, like Chris was saying earlier, too, that it's a double-edged sword with a lot of this stuff. So even though I'm putting them in like a pro or a con, they can work conversely however you want to look at it because we're talking about perspective on stuff. But 
with that, because then we can keep going with this, and I at least want to make time for the last topic for tonight. Um, any one of you two have, like, your last thoughts on at least, um, I don't want to say last thoughts, but anything to round up for fortune and fame for the people out there you want to say? Fortune and fame overdoses, bro. Mm. Mm. Overdoses. Drugs, you know what I'm saying? Like, drugs, the whole drug factory, bro. <laughs> But I mean, it sells though. It sells, and like that's what, like that's what it is. But like you know, the whole factor of like putting it in there, and then you got so many overdoses. That sh it's like it's going crazy. So like, mm. that's all I'm just saying. Like on it, like, I feel that I just overdosed off TikTok and passed out. And like abruptly <laughs> woke up, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm just talking no, about like. But seriously. So I know you're talking about actual drugs, but like to me, too much social media can be a drug. Like I, I it is. I realize yeah, that dopamine the the brain. That I get, yeah. yeah, from that, especially since I signed up for TikTok, I was very against it for a long time because I'm like yeah. it's called TikTok for a reason. And um, now you just like life. you go on it, in there like you figure I, out, yeah, turn into a possum, just pass out, like wake Look. up. Look. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna let Chris also go back to it. As much as I keep on saying words are real spells, there's a reason why these social medias are named the way that they are. You know, the main one with Instagram is an instant mm -hmm. gram of mm -hmm. gratification with the likes and the hearts and all of that stuff of again you said dopamine it's that response mm -hmm. system it's mm -hmm. in the brain there's been yeah. studies that have been done i don't know specifically yeah. off the top of my head that they yeah. would link up people's heads to the either the fmri or mri scan and it shows that in the same regions where drug addicts for other different type of drugs those receptors were firing and it was in the same place for a person who, again, was addicted or they had a large amount of use of social media in those same areas. And it's because of the dopamine responses. So literally, TikTok, like you said, is taking your yeah, life away. Facebook, you literally keeping your face taking in this face book. In book. Yep. You're yep. in this face in this book, just reading through all of this stuff again. Instagram mm -hmm. of gratification with Instagram. Twitter you are tweeting along your life with all of the stuff that you're you saying rather than speaking it in one. real life. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm That's telling the you, there's one. a reason why the social medias are also based on that connection, that, in, that innate connection to get in to be social, which ultimately some people say, is it really social? But not gonna, we're not going to go that further with it. Chris, did yeah. you have anything <laughs> else? Did you have anything fine. else? I co-sign <laughs> with this new song you're writing, The Aliens Approved. Oh Definitely. my goodness! Just oh my goodness! Plug that in for a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> social, the social medias. All right. We're gonna, all right, you gonna call this social medias? All right, got you. Yeah, that should be the song. Yeah. The social scam. Mm, yeah. Kidding. All right, all right. Like so we ain't trying to come up go. with no song off the top. Right we'll do the bars. Is there an after show? We'll make the bars later. We'll hey. make the bars later. We'll make the bars later. Okay, we're writing down. I've been practicing. All right. All right. But. <laughs> But no, um, either way, I guess it really just comes down to you, like, in, yeah. these, in these two positions. Like, it really comes down to your perspective, your intentions, how you want to move if such fortune is blessed upon you. And if you start yeah. to accumulate fame, what are you going to do with that level of influence? Because there's levels to it. So let's say you climb the ladder. Yeah. Um, it just really comes down to, and I, again, being solid. Like, that's just my personal opinion. Like, you can bypass a lot of these holes or traps that are set in it by just being solid with yourself and yeah. knowing, knowing, like, moving with your intent your intended intent yeah, so, yeah. and and that's yeah. where that's again I about it at the end that's the where day. it starts at it starts at home it starts yeah. with that foundation and stuff if you ain't got a firm foundation from the beginning you will be tricked deceived mm -hmm. and brought into all of the ills and the beauties of the world and mm -hmm. not know what to do with them so i agree with you on that so 
Yes. Yeah. And I agree with you, Dope, with also what you're saying with how it can be the same thing. Um, but let's go ahead, y'all, and let's get into the last topic for tonight, which the last topic for tonight we have is why do we worship celebrities? And before any of you jump in, I'm going to say this to all my people out there who are going to keep getting mad about me saying this or annoyed. I'm going to keep saying it. But there is a reason why I paired these topics together is because ultimately they all go one in one, hand in hand. I do it intentionally. I just don't do it randomly. So stay tuned into that. Don't <laughs> if you want to get on me about it, cool. Then there's another reason we can go back and forth with. I'll be with you doing that all day, every day. I'm just playing. I'm not gonna waste all my time to do all of that. But again, thank y'all for coming in and supporting and doing all of that. But let's get into why do we worship celebrities? Who wants to tackle this first? It's because they're human pyramids. They absorb hmm. the energy that you, the energy you radiate out and give out to them. And hmm. they take that in and then project it back out. That's one function of it. That's one way to keep us asleep, in a sense. We're focusing hmm. our energy in the wrong direction instead of going inward we're giving it outwards and it's going into these vessels mm. when you really think about it she putting some science and some some metaphysical science on y'all right now but that's that's a very real and valid point because examples of of stuff like that is i think of athletes in particular and when you have at athletes going in day out, day in and day out, night in, night out, and they're performing, you see certain points where either you got the crowd chanting, either the crowd booing, or any of that, depending on how that person knows how to, or that athlete knows how to adjust to the situation, they harness that energy that's coming in. And sometimes some people be like, man, he felt like he was a god on the field that day or he was a god on the court that day. And it's because they learned how to siphon that energy from the crowd, from the people that's giving it out to them and use it to the best of their ability, which they already had with them practicing day in and day out. So, no, you're you're literally again, I say this to people and they, you can say, oh, we're going too spiritual, too deep in things and stuff. But literally. If you think about life and everything around us, it is connected to frequency, vibration, energy, Mm -hmm. all of those different things. Shouts out to Nikola Tesla, because that's a a quote from Nikola Tesla. If you want to think about reality and things, think of in terms of frequency, vibration, energy, all of those stuff. So we literally put that off, especially one of the trendy words that's been said a lot now is like, shoot, like positive vibes only. Man, they killing my vibe. Like, I'm only here for the vibes. Like, it goes to show you that that's what we are. We are energy. We are vibration. We are frequency. We pick up on things. We share things. It all goes into that whole accordance. And for me, too, I love, again, like I said, I play with words. We think of electricity and all of this stuff and how we have phones and how that's connected to how we really are as, uh, as humans, why we go to sleep, all these different things. But to get back to your point, that's why it's important to know who you're feeding your energy into because there's a such thing as we call energy vampires. And whoever you want to give out your energy to or who's around trying to take energy away from you, it does take away from you looking within yourself to use that to help you grow and that's where too where people get stuck and left and lost and they're just looking at objects of folks that again they want to lift their eyes in life through vicariously so that's why you see people trying to keeping up with the kardashians or trying to um stay up with the joneses and all these different terms is because of the fact that where they at right now They don't even have enough energy to help get themselves off of the couch or in the chair to go out and literally accomplish maybe some of their dreams or their goals that they had that they want to do. But it's because of the fact that it's like, dang, I really don't have much of that, but I'm here. And shouts out to the dude in the DeVry commercial. I don't know homie's name, (laughs) but I swear that DeVry commercial, that's one of the (laughs) most um, motivational dudes (laughs) that I've met besides like Tony Robbins 
Eric, there's a few other folks that are like very motivational. It's just the way he went about it. He's like, you sitting at you sitting at home on the couch with now nothing to do. Bro, like he he literally literally sold like if people weren't thinking about going to Devry, yo, you were literally almost sold to be like, man, just go. And he ends with, come on, y'all. It's that mm -hmm. easy. And then he turns his back and just walks off. Like, yo, he like, where is he going? He's like, where is he going? I actually want to go him. there too. But again, <laughs> instead of, again, just, that's a goofy example, but it just goes to show you again, like you said, the energy that you're giving off either to people, if you don't give it to yourself, then you're not going to be able to move or go anywhere. So that's, <laughs> that is a way how people will worship that is because then they want to be that. So they live their life through that, forgetting that you have your own body, you have your own life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dope. You got anything? Yeah. So um, I see when you buffet to, destroyer. When when it when it, come, when it comes to you know uh, when you go to like you know festivals and stuff like that, where before they bring out performances and, and the person's about to come out, or whoever it is. Yeah. Like you have to build the crowd up, you know. Even if you don't even like that person, you mm -hmm. know, even that might not even be your artist. And like you know, they what they bring it up. And when a person come out, like, you know, it can have you like, everybody, yo, when I say this, you do this, you know? But, like, yeah. at that point, though, like, that, they have that power. And that's mm -hmm. why they do that, to, to know, like, I got their attention. This is this is all on me. All eyes on me right now, you know? And then that's what makes it to where having that energy and that vibe come in, like, all right, like, this is all on me. Boom, let me turn it up. Even yeah. though, like, we're having a good time, but... It's like sometimes you, you know, I don't know, like with personal things with artists, yeah, like you don't know what their beliefs are, and you don't know what they're doing in their lives, and you don't know what's going on with them and what they really, truly, they is about. Like it's just a uh, gang of shit into it. Excuse what's up, Lorenzo? But you know, yeah, when it comes into that, like you know, you have that, you have that spotlight. So when they have that certain following right there, like that's how it could create where people will, what you say, worship, you know? Like, especially yes. when they're dropping shoes, it's, it's like, e easy, you know? You got Travis Scott. Like, it's, like, constant. You can't even get a pair of shoes. Like, I didn't try to get Travis Scott. <laughs> get, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's constant because you got people that are like, yo, I need to get these Yeezys. I need to get these, these Travis Scott's right now. Like, yes. I need to get every piece of clothing. Like, <laughs> yes. So at that point, mm -hmm. and then you know you got the Sunday service, and it's just like, yo, okay, this is crazy. It's like, all right, like, and now you you look at it, and it's like it's different from just being an artist because everybody know, oh yeah, like we love Kanye West, like you know what I mean. There's no college dropout, but then when you come, to, yes. you start to look at it, and you like, hold on, wait a minute, Kanye, like, come on, bro, like I don't know, yeah, sometimes you know, but no, yeah, you My got people that stop are truly like like yeah. so like into it but it's it might be people that are younger too like you know you got people that are like younger generation coming up too and yeah like, you just see how like easy it is like to like i don't know like manipulate or oh like you know just get a, get that following in to yeah. like yo like yeah do this like follow me like and this is how you should be like i don't know no you're making just, no you're yeah, making the valid not, points bro you know yeah, no, you got it. You got it. You're saying what you're saying. And it's, again, it's making at least sense to me and folks that's going to get this. And shouts out to the brother that was in here, too. My boy Zoe in here earlier said it has to do with media and marketing. A thousand percent. We was talking about that earlier with the whole fortune and fame stuff. with having that money. That's how it just ends up going. As well as the labels pay millions for customers. For yeah, for consumers like um to like their artists as well as they pay for people to consume. We have the whole idea of the supply and demand. So when the demand mm -hmm. is high, that's why people are gonna try to figure out that supply. But when the demand is low and there's a high supply, then you already know it's not gonna be enough of that going. There's not gonna be enough really money being made because we already don't want it. But matter. again, what you said too dope. That's why it also goes not only from a spiritual type of thing and a physical type of thing, but it also goes deeper into a science aspect of that too, is especially with the MC, I call it an MC. Acronym stands for moves the crowd. However yeah. you want to end up saying it. If you want to go back and you look into the formula for E M C you know, E equals M C squared. Yeah, yeah. That's it that all lines up together to in that whole sense. 
for you to move the crowd, you got to have a certain force of energy that is in motion for uh-huh. folks, again, to conjure that uh-huh. up. Because energy, or, or again, a body that is in motion stays in motion. There's a whole thing, relativity. All of the stuff that's in science talks about, again, the stuff that physically we see happen as well as it happens on the spiritual realm. So I want to get back to that, which you had said, dope, is because of the fact that, that that's happening for people to conjure up the next guess yeah. the next artist to come on so people can be hyped even like you said even if they're not because they're getting that energy moving and emotion and how it's ever starting up so when the person does come out it's honestly up to that person they had that energy now how are you gonna go about harnessing that and you mm-hmm. see what happens when people go on and they're able to flow with that energy it stays consistent or they elevate it to the next level or you have people come on and they tank with that energy and you can tell the vibe of the room changes. I've yeah. seen it on multiple cases where it's went the opposite. And yeah. that was, it was hilarious yeah. to watch. <laughs> At the same time, it was unfortunate because it's like you can feel the mood and everything change just because <laughs> of that fact. So yeah. energy is a very important part in all of this stuff that plays with yeah. the worship um, of celebrities. But another thing, that I wanted to talk about and tie into it too, of why we worship celebrities too. On the smaller end as well, is that the idea of knowing that they were, were, quote unquote, normal people that made it. So it is possible that I can do the same thing. But yeah. what happens is when they get made and they get put on, People forget, like you said, they become that brand. They become an image and a character of who they used to be because now they have to keep up this image because if they don't, then they're not that person that people think that they are. I know I'm speaking, I sound like I'm speaking yeah, a code, so but from, y'all following uh, along. They go from being themselves to a product. As well yeah. as somebody that they have to end up playing, especially if you're a celebrity or actor. You get stuck in those roles. You are mm-hmm. a act. You are own your own actor in your own life. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't. As much as I don't really like to speak on 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 his situation and things that are stuff because it's already been all over the place. But the whole thing too with Will Smith and all this other different stuff. Will also drop in a do- uh, autobiography, which these folks drop books. So then y'all know that literally you see people's livelihoods from when they started, or you know their childhoods or where they grew up to how they became where they're at now and know that literally this is another regular person like me as well too. And what happens is when they got put on, if they weren't properly prepared for all this fortune and fame, which honestly at the end of the day, there's as much preparation you can have, there's still stuff you're not going to be ready for, that you see those negative effects happen. And when those negative effects happen, you also see the backlash that happens with people that see you out here, regular folks, whoever it is talking on your name, all these different sorts. But I wanted to at least get to speak to that point because that's where, again, the actors start becoming their character and they're not their name, but just what people characterize them to be. Okay. Mm. Here's Johnny. Got to see you up in here, brother. Yeah. Peace and love. Didn't I see you up in, in here. That role? That was so funny that you brought that up because I think <laughs> he, Jack Nicholson got stuck in that role during uh And, during and this movie. is kind of interesting <laughs> to say too. Yeah. I will say I will say this too and I, I know I need to do some more of my own backtracking because I'm terrible at watching movies but it's, it's kind of shiny. ironic that a lot of celebrities actually play roles in movies either that we don't know about that actually mirrored something that happened in their childhood or it forecasts something that happens in their future. And the reason why I say that is, again, whole situation, one with Will Smith, and I'm going to bring back Johnny Depp because somebody actually went back and they did a backtrack to one of the either TV shows or movies that he was in. I think it was 21 Jump Street, like original Mm -hmm. 21 Jump Street. Mm -hmm. And there is an episode where he played a character that was getting bullied by a girl and how we people were laughing about how he was getting bullied by a girl in this character in this this character in this particular show and what happened 
what's going on? What did you see that just happened as of as of late? Bullied. Like it, bullied. it just it, it just it just goes to show too that again characters or these celebrities are also playing characters within their own characters within <laughs> Hollywood. Hmm. Like I said, just watch out for it. I mean, again, I'm not saying like I know it's it crazy. for hundred percent, but that's why you also make sure you pay attention to what you're watching. But yeah, um, yeah. What other reasons y'all got for why? Why? Oh, she just ended up again. She come right back. Um, why we worship celebrities? Mm, that's the point I wanted to say. Okay, I feel that, brother. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that's, that's, it. I know it's, I'm just hey, it's there, you know, because I seen your I seen your categories, and I was like, all right, like you know, let me hop on, just talk about like you know what's going on, and you know, you see it all the time in media, so you know, yeah. You just can't oh, yeah, believe bro. everything that you see, you know. Thousand percent. Yes, brother. I appreciate you again coming and sharing all of that. And anytime, brother, if you're good to go, you're more than welcome to. If you want to still stay out, we're gonna be here for like another fifteen and then I'm gonna close it out. But but yeah, like it's it's very important that we also just speak about these things again because then we get to show the awareness as well as bring together collectively so then we can know that there's many ways to approach a situation, problems and such, or just bring light to things, all these different topics. Because again, I'm going to say another reason why we worship celebrities as well too is for some of us, not only that we want to put them on that pedestal, but they are also reminiscent of people in our close immediate circle or family. So some people look up to them, not only as just those role models, but as in shoot, man, they remind me of my uncle or dang, she acts just like my auntie. And they create that connection with that celebrity. So literally any time that they think about that celebrity and like Chris and you and dope, you said it earlier too, is when the celebrities do things that, they shouldn't be doing or they get caught up with stuff or they have these special privileges to do in a certain things. They give them a pass without keeping them accountable. Mm -hmm. And that's where yeah. it also will become a slippery slope for being a celebrity as well too, is that if you have too many yes people in your mm -hmm. circle and no one to keep you in check, when it comes to stuff, and I'm not saying like, oh, you need to be kept in check or you need to be handled and stuff. It's like, no, somebody to help you be real or just see things realistically versus trying to see it on this whole idealistic type of just scene. It brings you right back down to earth to let you know, like, yeah, bro, like that investment right there, bro, it's not going to make it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, say yeah. that money, get that to here. I mean, that's just my perspective. You don't, you take it, whatever it is, bro, but I, I can't agree to that. And when you don't have folks like that in your circle, that's where also, again, creates that slippery slope for being a celebrity. But that's what happens. I see it too with people put celebrities as family members and loved ones that they be like, they can't do no wrong. Mm -hmm. mm. You don't have Let's to say see. it. I'll, I'll say it. Um, yes, get you some no man's. No man. Hmm. Everybody in my circle says no. I love it. Mm. I even say no. <laughs> you like that's a, those no are the real people. Appropriate answer. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes and, that's the appropriate answer. You over here? And that's it? important. No. <laughs> yes. No. No, and that's important. <laughs> and I and I think that's also something that goes back to your upbringing and what you learn in mm -hmm. school. And society's boundaries, yes, Johnny, exactly boundaries. Yeah, um, boundaries of how you, how you conduct yourself in society. A lot of people don't want to let people down, so that's why you carry so much burden on you. That's why you're more likely to say yes to a lot of things when you don't necessarily feel like you want to end up saying yes to things. And part <laughs> of that again is that human connection piece of wanting to feel that you can relate to somebody, which I think Johnny was saying mm -hmm. the same thing. It's like, I mean, of how you relate in particular, because once you can relate mm -hmm. to somebody 
Or again, you relate to a celebrity, you ride hard with them. Why do you think people also are go die hard fans of different sports, different TV shows, different like, types yeah. of clothing and shoes and stuff? Is mm -hmm. because they can relate, or in their mind, in their own world, they're pushing to try to relate that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. I got in the comments or say, are they remind me and yeah, relate? I'm going to become a Max the Rapper, almost like Daft Punk. MF Doom, as well as a few I, other I, folks. I, uh, mm, it, see, exactly, exactly. See comments. Sorry. All right, brother, go ahead. Appreciate you, dope. Thank uh, you. All right. Have a good peace, night. Peace, peace. So um, it turns out I was right. Okay, Kunin is end up saying a big mm, update from Instagram happened in the last 24 hours. You can pin up to three posts on the top of your profile grid. Interesting. Okay. You can pin. I definitely oh, they're trying to do like TikTok now. Mm. Mm. I see. But they Again, need to fix the camera. All my videos are compressed. I have a Pro Max. <laughs> it should be clear. <laughs> Come on, Instagram. It's, it's so it's so it's so much that can be done because right. you're this is live feed mm -hmm. versus what's uploaded because you can still upload with a lot of quality. I think they're still figuring out the live portion and aspect of things. But no, I'm talking about uploading. My my um my videos on my phone are too like it exceeds because it looks really compressed and very choppy now oh it's okay yeah, yeah i have really that okay weird. now i know what yeah. you're talking about yeah i've had yeah. that happen a few times especially when i did some videos for people yeah um but yeah let's get around to rounding up out um on this i know we did a little bit on um you know worship worshiping celebrities because for me that's mm -hmm. a huge if i want to talk about specifically in different racial groups I know because I can only speak to my experience of being a black man. Literally yeah. within the black community, that is a huge thing of um celebrity worship because we look to a lot of folks mm -hmm. and celebrities on how to go about living our life because that's something in our struggle that we mm -hmm. have yet, or I say we somewhat addressed it, but have yet to heal from it. And part of it is not only us from being enslaved, but also the the whole setup of just breaking the family down inch by inch slowly so effectively to the point where we just want to be people pleasers at times and we just want to feel like we can be felt or we can be wanted from other people outside of our own particular race because that self-hate is there too so there's a lot of yeah, at least trauma say. and stuff that's on there but go ahead go ahead yeah. go ahead Oh, I was just going to piggyback and I'm going to say it, it's like um, kind of also like a camouflage, you know, because then it, it pits us against each other. So you see, I'm like him, not like him. And I'm like yeah. her, not like her. Yes. And it's just like we're, we're all, cause just because we're seen as like, like you can't be yourself. You know? yes. um, there's lack of individuality in our, in our fight and our struggle. You know, yeah. like I'm Crystal. I'm in a room full of people. I'm Crystal. But the moment, like, a non, a non-black Crystal gets, comes in the room, all of a sudden, I'm black Crystal. Mm -hmm. Black yeah. person, I'm Crystal. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's what ce celebrity kind of, I don't even like to say the word helps differentiate, but it can give an yeah. out. It can give an out. So like the identity, a different yeah. identity that so takes precedent over another one. Mm -hmm. It's a layer. So being, again, have, being a celebrity and all that stuff, it creates another layer of your identity and who you are. And that's what I think also people crave too, is having a different layer to yourself because we're right. complex, but at the same time, we're so simple. But it depends, again, on your perspective, your intent or how you look at it. But a lot of people also worship celebrities because of that fact that that's another layer that they will want to have and right. will want to experience and enjoy and be about because there's other layers you want to be like, nah, don't even worry about that layer. You see this one? Yeah, this is the main one I want you to look at versus that's looking deeper down with any other layer that's there is because 
Yes, I may be this great big celebrity, you know. I may have dark, light brown, whatever type of skin complexion. But at the same time, if an issue comes up, I want y'all to look at it as I'm that big celebrity, not because of my skin color or because of how I came up in this particularly from rags to riches because classism is also another layer. All these yeah. isms are different layers to how it creates your identity and also how you identify whether, you know, you know, gender, sexually, however, however it is, all of those are different layers. But when it comes to people wanting to worship celebrities, that's, that's a layer that they want to take precedent over everything. So when you see me, nah, see me as, see me as that um, James Bond, see me as that LeBron, see me as that Oprah Winfrey, see me as that Drew Barrymore um, or Zoe Zaldana, all these other people. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to get all the names and stuff yeah. in this particular case. See me as any other irrelevant artist or celebrity, actor, actress, what all of that stuff, and not I mean, as the person that came mm -hmm. from the hood or came from a very poor upbringing or came with a silver spoon in the mouth, all of those different stuff. No, where I'm at right now, see me where I'm at right now. Don't look at my past, don't look mm -hmm. at this. Let's see. Bencuna said, I think celebrity worship also has to do with the American obsession with self-image over actual impact. That is the individualism as well yeah. as that is the whole idea of the ego in there too. Being okay. aligned with a particular celebrity is like wearing a brand to show your identity. Yes, that connection. Once again, I agree with you. Yes. I was going to say the word representative is coming mm. up in, in my mind. It's like they become a representative. You know, and it's like, That's okay, true. yeah, I identify with that. So this image is what I'm going for. So that represents me. And then you take it on. So, mm. yeah. yeah. Very yeah, true. Interesting. Yes, but again, there's so much that can happen with that. Yeah, like there he says, that's the different brands. Coke, Pepsi, um, that's why iPhone <laughs> users will defend against any critique of it like they have been personally attacked, um, whereas Android users might actually engage with you if you critique Android phones. It's very true. It's very true. In certain perspectives, be like, oh yeah, but again, not only does memes and all these different type of videos nowadays showing you the fabric of how society looks at stuff that's why we have this whole such thing of what i did earlier fortune versus fame we have light skin versus dark skin you have red versus blue wealthy versus it's always going to be somewhere where people is either this or that and if you're in between you're also the problem we spoke on this many lives before too and it's it's always going to be like that because again people want to feel they are connected. People want to think that they're on the right side or on a side at least so that they have people that have their back and they have support so that they can feel relevant and have clout as well. But yeah. I feel um, like that stems from the, um, the capitalist nature of this country though is to make it competitive because like things don't have to be competitive mm -hmm. but i think we're conditioned to always think that we're in competition with something or someone that's business big business yeah. you're very right again yeah. that's why it's important to know all your influences and all of, not try to i'm not gonna say you're gonna know mm -hmm. every single one of them but know all the different pieces that impact your way of thinking and how you move in this society because that's a deep root mm -hmm. Capitalism is a deep root that's deep in root, there, for yeah. sure. We know racism is another deep root that's in there. Individualism is another deep root, which goes into the whole idea of competition. And not, again, all these isms play a part for a reason. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go and get to the last parts of wrapping up for tonight. So... Again, shouts out to everyone that's came through. Thank you, Dope, for coming in. Thank you, Kunda. Thank you, Chris. Thank you 
Freddie, all of those folks that's all in here that came in through here, thank y'all for coming through, as well as all y'all that's watching and still watching right now, even if it's a playback. Thank y'all for doing that. I appreciate your times, Chris. You know I value your time so much, so thank you for coming through. Kundin, same thing. Thank you for your time and you also coming through. Now, for your final thoughts, Chris, on any of the topics that we have or just specifically one of the topics, what are your final thoughts, your wrap-up for tonight's episode? The word I get is just caution mm. with all with all three with all three just be cautious of you know what you're gonna do with you know your fortune whatever it may be if it's physical currency or you know i believe in the luck factor you know how you're gonna use that to um make a mark your fame if you start getting eyes on you caution move with caution and in terms of who you're following, in terms of celebrity, it can be any scale celebrity, whoever mm-hmm. you're looking up to or idolizing, just move with caution. It's just, that's the best way to move. Mm. Caution is the word. For what's the word? To sum up all <laughs> these words of what we're just speaking caution. with the words. Caution. Mm-hmm. I like it. Kundin has... Brands and celebrities are modern day gods, angels, and goddesses. Yes. Yes. Because the way we worship an idol, again, the idolize, you put that stuff on there. You can go back. See, we didn't even talk about a religious aspect, but there is a religious I, aspect I to this get stuff, too. too. Deep into again, it, yeah. we could, okay. y'all. Again, we could, but a lot of this stuff <laughs> we just do as much as we can. But yes. Constantly say yes, caution with all three fame, fortune, and celebrities because I they're did human hit you with that. too. <laughs> I wanted to hit you earlier with that Illuminati when you first said it, but I was like, no, just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should have. Yeah, it's no, all we good. Didn't, we, didn't go, we didn't go deep. We didn't go that way for the blog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's again, it's, it's all good. It's all good. You know, it's always a good time here. So, again, thank you, Chris. Thank you all for your support, love, coming through, sharing this time. Because to me, time is so valuable. So when you share of your time, mm-hmm. I definitely make sure I want to make that time worth it and know that you're appreciated for it. Thank you. Boom. But with that, y'all, to wrap up, Chris also did love the word caution. To wrap up, when it comes to current events, make sure whether if you're reading listening to or watching please be informed of what's happening around you because you're starting to see a lot that's going on right now whether if it's multiple shootings all this other different stuff please be aware of your surroundings and know what's going on whether if it's locally or globally because it does ultimately have an impact on you so be prepared to help yourself your family and all your loved ones when it comes to the news second When it comes to fortune versus fame, I like that word, caution, as well as intention. What is your intention with the fortune? What is your intention with the fame? Think about how that's going to have not an impact only on you, but also on the people that is around you. You get to a certain level of fame and a certain level of fortune. Your expectations from people will change. So be mindful of how that has an impact on you. More money, more problems. And lastly, when it comes to why do we worship celebrities, part of it has to do with that connection piece. Another part of it has to do with an energy piece. Another part of it is just wanting to just live through somebody else's eyes and escape from your own life whatever it may end up being take into account of how that has an impact on you personally before how that has an impact on everything outside of you because once you do that inner work you will find the answers you are seeking for but with that y'all 
I know, Kuna, you had a few other things that you were putting in there, too, some cultural myths. We'll get into that next time. But use that discernment, like you're saying, Kunda. But next time, we will catch y'all, not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday for What's the Word Wednesdays. So, again, shouts out to everyone that came through. Thank you. So much love. And if not, you haven't done so already, subscribe to your boy at Avid Speaks on YouTube as well as you can follow here on Instagram. I'll have everybody's stuff up, but please do so because, again, it's a community. I want you to come in, speak your perspective. It's not only just mine, Chris, Kunin, everybody else that comes through that you've seen in here. So please come through and share with us. But other than that, we will catch y'all the following Wednesday for another episode of What's the Word Wednesdays. So peace, one love, and we're out.